Okay, what's up, people? Um, this is Miners of Greggy's Showdown Association. Um, I'm joined. No. <laughs> I am. You're not even in Miners. I am <laughs> Greggy himself. Um, I am joined by. Big fan. Uh, seven people. If you want to all introduce yourselves, the first one who does it is uh the favorite in my heart. So. I'm not toxic. Wow. Hey, this is Market. Oh right, I forgot my name. I'm Aaron. I'm Frankie. It's Daddy, uh, everyone's favorite miner. Daddy! <laughs> everyone's favorite miner. We this love Daddy. Thing and, and, I've ever been part of. I love Daddy's cum. And I'm Fappy10 back again, once again. Ew, One second. get out of here. <laughs> and today, people today. Today, people today, we will be going across the more competitive division in uh, Greggy's Showdown Association. So, um,. Yeah, Open let's. Up. Yeah, it's the better one. It, it truly is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, especially. I'm sorry if it's going to take a while. I know Scrappy. Scrappy just wants this video longer to sabotage miners. It's like kind oh of my insane God. if you think about it. Anyways, he wants a sweet ad revenue. <laughs> exactly. He he's going to be here next season, so it's like okay. Uh, let's That's go across crazy. the first team. We have Joey, coach of the Hawaii Rainbow. War Turtles, and he has Megalodios, Thundee Eye, Excadrill, Titar, Arcanine, Jellicent, Whimsicott, Chansey, Pinsir, and Alolan Bullpix. So, what do you guys think of this team? Um, I fucking hate him for sniping Alolan Bullpix. I yeah, hope he goes to Imagine Alolan. getting think... sniped of Alolan Bullpix. I think. I know, I like, right? I like pretty much any team with sand, honestly. I, I hate him. I hate him so much. I want him to yeah. go in 10. For the back wheel, it's really good, actually. Yeah, Megalodeus yeah. at 16, I feel like, is really cool. Uh, oh, that was that was AIDS. Yeah, that's mm. pretty good. Jo Joey's drafts are normally pretty good, anyway. Yeah, it, it looks like overall solid and balanced across the board. Like, yeah, literally the, the worst league. thing I see on here is Pinsir and Chansey, so that's not too bad. I, I think really the downside is he only has seven Pokemon, so uh, that's not good. <laughs> I think, I see, look at his mod, I see four mods that are weak to, to rocks, hazards. I feel he's like... got drill. Uh, yeah, yeah he's, he's got some solid removal. He has solid removal, and two of those mods are not Pokemon, so... Well, Lottie's a good Exactly. Part. To be honest. Megalodios is busted, to be honest. Yeah, he's got some nice support there. I like how Thunderous Eye, you know, it can run that support set, so things like Gladios and stuff like that, they can run Adamant and... Adamant, what the fuck? Um, Modest Maybe. and... Uh, I mean, Adamant too. Offensive Arcanine and stuff like that, so... He has that option there, at least. The one thing that I don't like about a team, like in all seriousness, I don't like the fact that he has Chansey on this team. I feel like I think Chansey's not a bad one format. I think you see instances of Chansey and Blissey being okay this generation, despite being at first considered really awful Mon. But I feel like Chansey just has no place in this roster. <laughs> yeah, if anything, that. if anything yeah. in league format, I think Blissey is better. Yeah, he's just yeah. it's less it's uh, fodder. Even then, it, it basically just seems like he just wanted some sort of defensive rocker for low points, but it doesn't really offer much to his actual team. I feel like everything else seems okay, Should but it just chances seems like dead weight. I mean, Another if you really cool thing. Sorry, go ahead. If you were about to set up, he's got that wins the cut with Prankster Encore. <laughs> oh, yeah, true? that is true. That could be very Ooh. annoying. Oh, let me see something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Also, uh... Actually, two prankster users is pretty cool. Yeah. It'd be even cooler if Thunderous got Tailwind, so he'd have two prankster Tailwinders. Exactly. Two Dude, prankster cool. Tailwinders with Megalodios? That's kind of... yikes. And he does have prankster really his, his, like, top four mines hit so hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's extremely top-heavy, I've seen, honestly. Yeah, it's pretty top-heavy, I'd say. The yeah. mid-tier stuff is where all his is. Yeah, Arcanine. Arcanine is pretty cool. cool. Those are both cool. Okay. Yeah, I like Gwensakai too. It's so true. yeah, um, I think that Not this terrible. team is pretty... Um, it's really offensive. I don't see how the Chansey fits. Um, I give it a B. 
Yeah, that would be, in case you were going to ask. <laughs> I also, I also sure. to run defensively as well. Like with, with the chancy, it pairs well with the jealousons and the if you want to run defensive up nine and stuff like that. And it's nice because on the Latios team, you can run it both defensively and be super stally as well, but also be offensive with Thunderous Eye and, you know, his top four, really. And yeah, yeah. yeah. And plus all the support to help him set up and yeah. I like it. I like his team. It's kind of hard for him to run the uh, bulky parts of his team with the T-Tar though, because like Chansey doesn't want to take that sand ship, and oh, Jellison yeah. a lot of times running berries like Culver. And Arcanine Morning yeah. Sun's messed up, so yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If that sand ship up for a while, it, it would, he would pretty much have to run a healing move on like Galadios. That's and true. If, yeah. If he would need to run, if, if in case like on the off chance he would need to run a fourth move, not having that slot for recovery, Roos would potentially put it in range for a setup sweeper. Yeah. I also don't see Fantastic Plus to really handle Dark Types. I know my favorite Ladio set the ones with Sword Towers, right? So it'd be nice to get rid of those Dark I mean, he has pins up and wins the cock. But like, I don't know. No good he fighting. Really start running Very sword tower. He's There's also a Tyranitar there. Tyranitar can, hit the can take those Dark Hits, Candy. He could. Yeah. That's super power, T-Tar. Alright, fine. Be mine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the next team. We have um, Epic's the best. Coach of Mockies <laughs> Milkies. I love, I love um, what's going on here. <laughs> so we have the Clefable, Latios, Tapu Bulu, Halucha, Crobat, Umbreon, Gastrodon, Lanoon, Meryl, and Mega Agron. Can I just say the most broken team? <laughs> it's, it's got a Clefable and a Tapu Clef is busted. I think that his, his choice in colors automatically gives him two bonus points. Yeah, look at this. It's a creative dog. This is beautiful. It's a gorgeous page, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I might get epics to do this on my page. Copy paste, some... what are you talking about? Oh yeah, wait, that's true. Yeah. <clears throat> any, now. Read any, tapu, any Tapu Lucha core just... Yeah, that's, that's annoying. Insane. It's really yeah. annoying. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. And he, uh, <laughs> and it was uh, getting Crobat, he got one of the best answers to Lucha. I heard he was dropping Crobat. Uh, no, that was um, a uh, knife. Yeah. Also, uh, also, uh, Mecha Agron Bulu sounds pretty fun. In Mecha theory. Agron that Bulu, that was, that was and, good. and then a core between Mega Agron, Clefable, and Umbreon. That looks very annoying. and Latios even. Honestly, if you want. There, there's a mod that seems out of place. I, I, I know Linoon is good, but it just seems out of place with the composition. I mean, I see that. it doesn't fit on anything, to be honest. It's kind of just like there. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> yeah. It'll do something one game out of the whole season, maybe. Yeah. And then it'll end up in the top 10 kill laters. Yeah. <gasps> maybe. Exactly. <laughs> Gastrodon seems kind of weird because, like, I guess if you want, like, if you're electric, wants HP grass. I don't know. Boosted by the terrain. Yeah. <laughs> Man, but that's not it. That's not a huge issue. Um, is that Meryl there? Can we talk about that? The, the Meryl. Oh my. Ah. <laughs> 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 Look, anal like, blaster. I, I, the Meryl. <laughs> I can respect the pick, the pick. Um, I'm not too sure he needed another belly drum user. What do you mean he needed all three? Yeah. I, oh, of course, wait, there's another? Clefable. I don't know, he did. Yeah. Oh, of oh my gosh. That pick's just oh. drafted it because he wanted to call it ample plasty. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I think it's interesting looking at his Gastrodon um, nickname. He's going to be using the West Gastrodon. Uh, I just feel like the West Gastrodon's not as cool looking, but <laughs> if he's going to name it Best Coast, uh, he's using West Gastrodon. So, is that the oh, of course. Oh, you know, he's a pissy guy. He, that's definitely the case, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> These nicknames too <laughs> come Jabroni. <laughs> That's From crazy. Burning. I know, right? <laughs> Epix is so creative. Yeah, yeah, Epix is amazing. Anyways, what I give guy. this team a B minus. Uh, yeah. That's fair. DTOs are kind of whack. Like, because Linoon's not something that's going to be coming a lot. Yeah. So without that, it goes from like 75 to 110. A lot of people can afford to run out of it. 
Oh, a Victini. Ugh, that's not fun. Ooh. Yeah, that is a problem. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Wait, looking at Victini, ooh, kind of puts in some work. Sure. Oh, okay, but does. name a team that it doesn't put in work against. Um, wait, you're right, you're never right. mind. The a Violet Meryl. <laughs> I, I don't know with thick fat. Yeah. Bro, yeah, bro. it might take. It might take. Uh, Ninety-seven. Solid four <laughs> percent. <laughs> so yeah, um, pretty interesting team. Round one, Clef. I think a lot of people were a bit confused, but it, Clef's a good Pokemon. So yeah. I think I think that Python said he traded spots in the draft just so he just yeah. so he wouldn't look stupid taking round five, uh, pick five Clef. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's actually what did happen. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's go on to the next team. We have the Kentucky Torquettes, coached by Merkit, and he has the Deoxys Defense, Mega Medicham, Superior, Toxapex, Bisharp, Zygarde 10%, Ambipom, Masquerain, Moltres, Wigglytuff, and Crustle. Alright, so... Solid names, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Very <laughs> solid names. I, I asked for a naming, a naming theme, and Ian... Uh, gave me the idea for uh, dictators. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put, uh, when your teams, teams have a nickname theme. I think it's already given me bonus points in your draft. So respect there. So I went into this the week before the draft. I was actually talking with I think it was Blue and Scrappy. Maybe was I talking with you about this, Aaron? Um, about I don't what? Remember. About me wanting to pick Deoxys Defense first. Oh yes, you had mentioned that. Um, yeah. So. That's why you see the Mega Medicham there. It's obvious you talked to Scrappy, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really talked to the wrong coach. Yeah. Mega Medicham DOD, though. Ugh, just with spike support, and you're taking away one of the good switch to it. Like, <laughs> damn, that's and then, annoying. And then Dio Sharp is a real thing. Oh, true? Dio Sharp is a real thing. That's a real thing. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a good thing, but yeah, it's a thing. It's pretty disgusting, too. Yeah. So, like, after I got to the bishop, I kind of felt like I backed myself into a corner because I spent a lot of points on my top on my top mons here. So, I just, I figured, I tried to figure out what holes I needed to fill and tried to go as budget as I could. I got the Zygarde, Ambipom is a solid 115 attacker, great scar for good potential Z-mon. Um, Masquerade is... Cool. Yeah. yeah. Moltres, I had to, had, I like my name for Moltres, by the way. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Masquerade gives me web support and a potential uh, quiver dance sweep, or just a uh, uh, just quiver dance wall breaker. And um, Wigglytuff is just because I wanted a fairy type, and there weren't that many good fairy types at that point Wigglytuff's in the draft left. Cash. I don't care what people Wigglytuff say. is fire. Hello. Yeah, it's and then um, I wanted to get. I've been try I've been using a lot of Crustle recently. Like I have Crustle drafted in another league that I'm in, and um, I think I feel like. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's Nick Cream is also so good. <laughs> <laughs> He's Nick I, I feel like Cru I made Crestle a Zemon because I feel like a, a Shell Smasher as a Zemon could be uh, very good, at either wall breaking or just sweeping in general. Mm -hmm. Also, the mm -hmm. hazard stack option yeah, but... with um, Bisharp, I feel like. Just in case DoD doesn't have a good matchup, he c you can bring a lead Crustle, and that could be really cool. Yeah. 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 Also, what break? What breaks Pax plus Deoxys? Do you <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> that sounds so annoying. Add set to that with sleep. Only thing that's kind of. Cool. Yeah, we'll see. Like, prop, props to Ian for the idea for the nicknames. I think my favorites are Moltres, Crustle, and Superior. Because Jim <laughs> Kim Jong Il was a snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy, go on. Is a potential issue that you got two things four times weak to stealth rock and a really hazard stack heavy team and hazard control on your side yeah no spinner kind of hurts i feel i mean that's not the biggest deal in the world it's still is definitely an issue but i mean i've gotten away with several games where i should have lost the house stacking just because i didn't bring any removal and people expect I would, and expect, oh, you're gonna click it this turn, and you just play really aggressive. So I bet, very well earn his favor, actually. I bet Kamala well, was a there around beat, five. Though. He could've picked Kamala around five. I know, that's a broken mon. That's true. Yeah. It's not Kobe. He's still in the community, right? Scrappy, do you think Kamala around five is the play? Leave me alone. 
<laughs> I, I will not receive abuse in two straight, two of these things. I don't know, man. I think you deserve it if you're drafting Kamala around five. Crazy. That might just be my bad opinion here, but... Pedro just Pedro once picked it up for fifteen bucks. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, le- closing <laughs> statements on this team. I feel like it's my favorite team that I've we've gone across so far. Uh, pretty cool. I I like the bulk aspect to it with the wall breaking potential. Yeah, I agree. Shut up. It's only because it has it. Mega Medish Ham. Shut up. <laughs> My only concern is that it, when Medi- when Medicham doesn't have the matchup, I don't see great ways to break teams. Like, I, like Surf's there, right? But, like, and then Moltres, and then what really else? Bishop? Yeah, know. that's another yeah. thing. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Mega, Mega Medi's power, so I, I, I definitely want to do yeah. Look at Scrappy agreeing to it. Anyways, let's go on to the of next course. team. We're going to go with Ben Hitmonlee, coach of the Melbourne Magnetons, and he has Tapu Coco, Volcarona, Tangrowth, Diggersby, Fortress, Salamence, Hitmonlee, Mega Blastoise, Armaldo, and Zatu. The man drafted himself. It's awesome. <laughs> it's amazing. <sighs> He's got hell the, the, only, the only way this could be more of a Ben team is if Cresselia was there. For real. Sad. Sad. I will say right off the bat, um, his colors are at least better than uh, than both the Torcats and uh, and the War Turtles. So I'll give him that. He has the second best colors so far. Yeah, at least, so he can at least read the stuff without going into a seizure. It's a little boring. Like, it it's very boring. That's a minus. But at the very least, I'm like getting a seizure looking at his team page. That's a See, plus. Ben's team is like offense, hazard removal, and a Tangra. I do love the double spinners with Volcarona. It's really a yeah, lot of really helps. Yeah, that's yeah, really nice. Yeah, he, he took away both the spinners I wanted, being Fortress, and then um, well, she not him on He took away Fortress and Armaldo, two spinners I wanted. And he has three, three spinners, spinners him on too. and his Zod. So Wait, yeah, he has a him on yeah. Holy crap! Four, four oh, wait, what's his third spinner besides him on the Four, four, four spinners. There's oh, Armaldo, Mega Blastoise, Hitmonlee, and Fortress. Yeah, Something's okay, gotta be able to spin in a game. Plus, uh, plus, <laughs> plus, like, plus, plus, plus defog on both uh, Zatu and Tapu Koko. And Mega yeah, Blastoise. I, I hate Blastoise. that he took both Fortress and Armaldo from me. I was gunning both of those mods. Armaldo more so after the um, after the Alolan Vulpix snipe. But Fortress was a mod, I think, like in round five. I was like, I gotta get Fortress next. And I looked through all the steel picks that I was, and I was like, fuck, Fortress is taken. For the first time ever, someone actually was concerned about a Fortress snipe. Yeah. Especially around five, it was AIDS. I think Volcarona. Oh, go ahead. Oh, okay, well, I think Volcarona and Salamence, those are like two of the nastiest sweepers in the game. Yeah. Like, they're so obnoxious. They both pair really well with Coco, too, so I think that him getting Coco with that will help a lot of the waters that would otherwise maybe go for Haze versus them. Yeah, it, yeah. it'd be a shame if you, like, lost the men's next week. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Um, <sighs> even using Coco just to set up screens to make it easier for them to get up. Oh, screens yeah, Coco is really cool. He, just, he really just needs mono attack just to break through any sort of water type that would haze or roar or something, like a Suicune, for example, and then the mon is sweet. Even then, you can just bring like your Grass Team Z Volcarona, because I believe it's a Z mon if I'm not mistaken. One issue that we have not uh, looking at the rosters page, we can't actually see the Z mon. Unless the Blue just never updated them. That is, that is true. Okay, well, well then what if... <laughs> they got Volcron and Salamence. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty yeah, obvious. Um, yeah, Volcron and Salamence, yep. So. Yeah, Um. something I noticed is his speed goes from 130 to 100. That's, yeah, that's, that's rough. It's, I mean, that's not the worst thing, but the worst. No, that, something that's like... Bad in an offensive team. Something like a Raikou can run Rash and, like... Yeah, that could be a bit Wait, annoying. Why Rash? Well, uh, even like base... Spear, what do you mean? Well, no, even like 120... Team. Like, even like 125, like, or like, in the area, like, Torn or whatever, they yeah. can run, you know, modest or at Like, Spec Swallow can be modest, which is a bit scary. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. yeah. Especially for an offense between Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's actually really disgusting, to be honest. Actually, I don't think anyone drafted well in one minor. 
Well, oh, even well then, like anything like a short and slipper hit, well, you would lock this team. It's really just a poker that I have to worry about. But if you can run like a modest nature versus this, or even just run like a really fast set and just beat this team out pretty easily. Yeah. This is really just rocks. Coco, and maybe like a Banning Quick Attack is it, Pick of could do a little bit of damage, but otherwise, the team is extremely weak to offensive flying types besides Coco. Which, I mean, luckily, I, I say that, but Coco is realistically like easily the best answer for flying types in the entire draft that we had. But still, the having that is your only answer to an offensive flying type is actually really rough. It's because like there's still like five of them on to pressure it. I don't know, I feel like he has to play really offensively with this team in order to be successful. Like, he has to set up before his opponent can beat his setup, if that makes sense. For certain. That's 100% yeah. true. For sure. At least he has a lot of vault and stuff like that to bring in his threats, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of you turning in vault switching when you don't really want to. I feel, like he, I feel like he could potentially be reliant on Scarf Tigger's be a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that could That's be. Thing. And that'll hurt Digger's be a lot because head. offensive, like with Band, looks really nice in his team as well. But the fact that he's probably going to need to run Scarf Mark and knock his speed tiers, that's really bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please, I'll give this team a B. I think it's a very Ben team. I <laughs> get it, B for Ben. Huh, I'm, <laughs> I'm hilarious. Oh, uh, you're That's hilarious. toxic. I don't, I don't, why did you give my team? I don't think you graded my team. Oof. We didn't. Hold on. We're not being, think, we're not I, very I, I consistent. Yeah, we're, we're not consistent. Love. Let's oh, give it a B. A B for missing it. B Everything's for bad. A B so far. Okay, let's go <laughs> on to... Oh boy. Oh, it's Klinga. his season, dude. It's his season. <laughs> He's gonna the get coach it. of the Vienna Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and he has Tapu Lele, Mega Venusaur, Garchomp, Melodic, Busted. Incineroar, Hitmontop, Miltink, Cryognal, Dublade, Honchkrow, and Zebstrika. This league, wow. These leagues really love their Lele Garchomp course. Mm -hmm. uh, something I'll point out immediately Lele Mega Venusaur. I don't, I don't know if that's the that's one. I, I hate that so much. Yeah. I think I think yeah. that's uh, a little counter synergistic, even even if he has two dark types and a steel type. Yeah. This seems like he, pretty. He drafted a bunch of uh, special walls to try and make up for the for that fact. I mean, I don't think it's too bad. Like obviously, the sidekick weren't you know, you know weren't weren't. They, they, and Mega Venusaur's not saying you know, on Psychic Tracks anyway, but, um, you know, it's not like it doesn't get any priority to, you know, hinder. Yeah. Defensive synergy between the Mega Venusaur, Milotic, and Incineroar. That's, That's insane. Pretty... Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. Not to mention he I has like two it. spinners so that he can keep, try to keep rocks off. Because rocks, I feel like, really pressure Mega Venusaur. And... Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, he's got good balance. Yeah, I'm really. Mm -hmm. It seems like a hardcore balance team, to be honest. Yeah, I I will say though, uh, his main offensive, like I I think Lele and Garchomp are really reliable offensive mons, but then it kind of it's kind of a drop off offensively. Off. Yeah, I could see yeah, what yeah. I see what you mean. You have yeah, to yeah. Cool going for more balance rather than off. Yeah, yeah. Doublet's niche though. Like, you're not gonna bring Doublet. Yeah, yeah. Playing this much of a balanced team, you really want to take advantage of like hazard stacking or some sort of passive damage. Hooray. Mm. Let's see. I also feel like the team really doesn't do anything for Lele, which is weird because Lele usually like, carries teams. This team just feels almost almost like dead weight in a way because just nothing really supports it well. I mean, mm. our chomp. Kind yeah, chomp. I mean, well. but that that's like it though. Yeah, I see what well, you mean. Like against a Celesteela yeah. or something, your way of breaking it really is the Incineroar. Uh, and Zeb Strike. And, and Zeb Strike. Strike. <laughs> like, the team really doesn't support Lele well, which is weird because Lele is one of those mods you can just bring dead build around. I mean, Lele is pretty Lele's. clueless, so you just bring it. What, what, did, he, what did he make his Z flap specs on it? Uh, Klinga didn't Did Klinga not the Z-Moth yet? No, Klinga's oh, toxic. Okay, okay, okay. So toxic. On. It's um, okay, because <laughs> it's still a season, though, so... I feel oh, like, um... I feel like, um... 
Lele also might hinder Honchkrow a little bit. Yeah. That's where I was going next. Yeah, Honchkrow that... and Dewblade. Damn. And, and hit him on top. I mean, hit him on top, maybe not as much, but yeah, maybe against like a Weavile or something. Bullet punch, like, you don't bullet punch like You limit your stuff in prep. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Or in center of fake out. I, I like his bulk though, honestly. Yeah, I love his bulk. Uh, Mega Venus or Melodic plus Incineroar. Two Intimidators, that's pretty cool. With. Yeah, with a Dewblade. Yeah, for wow. sure. Dewblade's yeah, really bulky. Play... Hmm? If he plays smart, does like specially defensive, like Toxic Dewblade to take advantage of how bulky his team is, he can really. <laughs> yeah. Toxic is actually Klinga's best friend this season. Not gonna lie. Oh, for certain. Yeah. I like his real types are his worst nightmare this season. Maybe prepping with Newman? Yeah, yep, prepping definitely with Newman. with Newman. Newman and Techno. Um, yeah, he's going to prefer them. Anyways, let's grade this team. I'm going to give it a C+. Plus. Honestly, I'm going to give it a C. C. Hard C. Is this the first C? Yeah. 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 It's okay, though, because it's a, a season. So. Still a season. Yeah, it's, it's still, still a season, so he'll be fine. I mean, the team is the team is good. I'd say I'd say a C+. Plus. But like the counter synergies with like Psychic Turn and Mega Venusaur, and then the 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 mods that like to abuse uh, priority could end up costing him a game. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, well, speaking of toxic. Yeah, speaking of toxic, let's speaking go on. Of toxic. Toxic. We have techno. techno. Wait, he he put his YouTube. He is so toxic. So <laughs> actually, is he, he actually made. linked his YouTube. That's crazy. Okay. Who does that? So we're Does going with techno. Carolina Dream Eaters, he has Megalopunny, Fairthorn, Thunderous T, Vaporeon, Mimikyu, Donphan, Espeon, Dragonite, Magmortar, Rampardos, and Wooper. Okay, this is almost, almost okay. looks like a 2017. I don't know what he's going for with this. It's this like a half the... stall, half offense. Yeah. This is the type this is the type of team Techno's probably gonna do really well with, honestly. Yeah. This Knowing is, how he is. This is a techno team I feel. <laughs> it, yeah. it almost looks like a twenty seven team with Dragon plus Dragonite. I mean but who produces results in twenty seven techno? <laughs> I got him. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I really I like his team. Nice task options, speed, breaking. Bulk, it's all there. Yeah, to yeah, an extent. It's, it's a really nice it's sound. Really good like. It's got some good nicknames. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Two no, 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 That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> nah, never mind. I get back. I looked through a couple of his names. These are. These are really <laughs> awful nicknames. Also, also, he actually drafted. Techno is such a memer. He drafted Whooper. Uh, I, I, I mean, his team was pick. pretty weak to Mega Metagross uh, before the Whooper pick. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I respect the Wooper pick for one. No shade, please. <laughs> There's no he shade. Did, he did that. He's got, he's got a <laughs> mascot there. Yeah, that's true. He's also got Don Fences. Dress immediately the best. Yikes. Something I just realized. Where's his poison type? <gasps> <laughs> that's Pops insane. Toxic <laughs> plays have three versus this man. He's gonna miss all those 85% toxics. <laughs> exactly. Don Fences has actually got five money in four minutes, so... I gotta give him that. That's a solid rap. I'm, I'm actually, I am actually a fan of uh, Magmortars and Rampardos as nickname. Rampardos? <laughs> oh god, those are both awful. <laughs> I sincerely hope Techno drowns. Techno's the worst. I hate Techno so much. Techno better drown for these nicknames. I, f I feel like it's between me and Epic for best nicknames so far. I don't know, man. I got, I got some nicknames that you guys are run for your money. That's what I said so far. Let's see. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, Honestly. Gonna, I, I'd say this team is probably a C+. Plus. Uh, I, I don't like it as much I as the other teams, but um, it's a techno-style team. It fits him, so I'm mm -hmm. sure that's all that matters to him. Yeah. Uh, Monday. I probably like it more I than like other it. people. I like but... it better than Kling. Round one Mega Low Punny, though. Hey, there's my backup. Hey, oh my goodness. Megalop plus I like the Ferrothorn is cool, though. The mods themselves just not necessarily the synergy. Like, Ferrothorn plus Vaporeon is a pretty good combo. Yeah. You can get the Whiplash into something that doesn't have a lot of reliable recovery. Also, look, he Thundee T Vaporeon sounds nice. That's pretty nice, man. 
Yeah, what's that lantern doing to you now? Jeez, you have the switch in. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm interested in what he's going to name his Dragon Knight. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> nothing, because... Uh, he's going to name it, like, like Dexter it. Lawrence or something. <laughs> Holy or Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, um... You know, mm. looking at things... Yeah, all right, he's probably getting rid of the Dragonite, so yeah, Techno. Go, uh, sticking to his roots, what he knows best, <laughs> kind of a, you know, it, it's a pretty Gen 6 style team, plus like a Mimikyu if you think about it. Uh, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, that, that makes Gen sense, yeah. yeah. Really good. Speaking of um older, older <laughs> Gens, the next <laughs> one we're going after is um Nacho, coach of the Detroit Terribolts. And he has Mega Scizor, Manaphy, Hydreigon, Raikou, Mamoswine, Decidueye, Gardevoir, Golbat, Girder, Pyroar, Alolan Grimer, and a Diglett. Diglett transition. He yeah. got the worst of the Owl Pokemon. Of huh? the what Pokemon? What? <laughs> owl Pokemon. Oh. That is true. I, I know Dark Tricks. Pretty tough. <laughs> Easy. Uh, what's wrong with the Sukiwai? Hello? It's not a Noctowl. Not a Noctowl. Noctowl's busted. I forgot. I feel ashamed. But, uh, your, your top... Your top half is so nice. I do love, like, the first five or so picks going on there. I like the first seven, to be honest. G Gardevoir is pretty cool. Everything I don't like. Right. Yeah, I don't like. Golbat's uh, very underrated. Or Golbat. Now Golbat's awful. Oh, that's and you back. Nah, oh, Golbat. Golbat solid. Is some Gen Six trash that he picked up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> until you need a fighting resist, and then boom. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you get a spin blocker. And then. Uh... You need a fighting resist when you have a disjointed Gardevoir. <laughs> 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 then, then, <laughs> then, uh, Manaphy and Mega. Pretty sad. Okay, stop hyping up Manaphy. Oh my lord, stop sucking. <laughs> what? Blue god, Manaphy is not a fighting switch in you, Yeah, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> that's, 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 that's okay. I'm okay. just gonna, I'm just gonna say this. Mammal Swine's nickname is the best on this team. Uh, I disagree. Um, Mega Scissors are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Mammal Swine nickname. I, I like um, I like his Gardevoir nickname a lot. Wait, wait, wait I, the, Raikou. the Hydreigon. The Hydreigon. Okay. Manage. Oh god. What is that? Manage. That's an amazing name on Raikou. That, that's the best thing we've seen so far. Nacho, you get bonus points in my. That's book. a. That's actually a. That's a. That's the best nickname so far, actually. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> not the best nickname so far. If you get, like if you understand. Though. Personally, I'm proud of it. Or the Diglett. Hmm. <laughs> or the Olo and Grimer, but. That doesn't really fit you. You're more of like an aerodactyl. I'd have to be. Yeah, I'd have to be a fossil. <laughs> Wait, but it's I like, like an old cum shot if you think about it. I, I like the right nickname. Oh, oh yeah. speaking of toxic and Grimers, oh my gosh, it's oh. uh, C9 Tails again. I C9 Tails. Oh God, so oh, AIDS. No. Oh, Why no. do we let Tails in here? Yeah, Tails is the most best girl. Oh my God. No, we so, oh, okay. so he's guys. So leave the wife who wars to something else. Time. It's just too much. Of the first one, but he's here to re redeem himself for the second half. Exactly. Of the last so, one. So tails <laughs> oh wait, wait. Are we actually doing miners analysis right now? Yeah, we're yeah. on Nacho right yeah. now. Oh shit. Okay, yo, let me hop on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay. How did you read the chat? Okay. Sliding in. Anyways, I'll give this team a B plus. I think it's the best team we come across so far. Um, just the first couple mons I feel like are really cool. Yeah, I'd agree. Ooh. I really <coughs> like the top I'm the top part. Can't wait to make it look terrible. <laughs> I like the team. I, I like I the first ten mons. Like <laughs> they are all nice. That's all the then unfortunately we have Nacho Incarnate for the last two. Yeah, we, we we fell off the wheel on those. Hey, it's the I good like, kind of trap hey, though, hello. Blue pressured me into picking things. <laughs> yeah. so I, I was like, you have two extra points, you better fucking pick something. Also, uh well, this team will be interesting because we have to see whether Doug or Nacho is playing. It, uh, yeah, that's the that's the main thing. If Doug's playing like miners is dead. 
Rebecca's not the beta, but Doug is <laughs> an absolute alpha. Don't wake him up, please. <laughs> We're scared. Hey, for the sake of mine, we'll, we'll keep us sitting tight. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we can get specs on that. Yeah, no, don't, what? no, don't let specs near it. Come on. Excuse me? <laughs> wow. Okay. I can't believe we're letting specs near children again. No, we're still send Taylor in. Easy. <laughs> oh, yikes. Okay. That'll keep Doug busy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so the next team. <laughs> yeah, let, let's just go on to the next team. Here we have <laughs> Aaron2420. Coach of the Calgary Infernapes. He, he legit hey, copied hey. Epix's. S M H. Oh. Hey, on a hey, oh, I told you I was going to copy him. Oh, oh God. It was great. <laughs> Anyways, he has the Lando T, Infernape, Rotom Wash, Mega Pinsir, Greninja, Alakazam, Aromatisse, Vileplume, Mawile, Alolan Sandslash, Amora, and Fracture. Why is this Lando T definitely better than mine? Because I came up with good nicknames. Not even that, just Monwise. Okay, what, the what, Rotom what? Wash nickname is Flans. <laughs> the hey, Lando T. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I told you, I put a lot of time into my nicknames. I especially like Vile Boy, which is Scrappy's Toxic, and Alexam, which is Specs Spoon's Kids. I think no, that's the Greninja favorite. nickname, though. <laughs> one same, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> one same, my dude. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. I, I think I win so far best nicknames at the very least. No, okay. so I'm going to go 0 and 10. Hey, I I'm representing. Hell yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about the actual <laughs> team now. Oh, Alright, well. So, Lando T. Rotom Wash is obnoxious. That, that's a nice thing. It's really round solid. One, 13 pick overall. That was really toxic, guys. Yeah, he, he got Infernape round 2. That's insane. Oh my god. And Lando T. Rotom Wash 13 overall. Again, so yeah. toxic, guys. Let me get both of them. I'm winning the league now. This is my season. Fuck it being, uh. Yeah. Fuck it being Fuck playing <laughs> Wait, 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 don't say that. <laughs> nah, hey, it's on nah. video now. I'm winning nah, the season. No, nah, we gotta have we gotta start beefs and shit. Please. Yeah, Clea, you're going down unless 6 0 you when we definitely play. Do you even play? Everyone pick a person to beef with, honestly. <laughs> I'm yeah. beefing with Clea. Oh, hey, I look like I'm gonna add him. He's already been destroyed. Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Uh, round Greninja in round five. I feel like Greninja has been a more popular mon in the draft format recently. So getting it round five, I think, is pretty good. Yo, value. those spikes are so nice. Straight spikes yeah. is nice. Yeah, with that game sweep. Even um, like a sad, even like a sad sleep, Greninja with spikes. Like no one wants to take a torrent boosted hydro pump. Yeah. Two. Also, I only got one mod that's actually weak to rocks, and it just happens to be four times weak. Uh, yeah, that is true. It's okay. You got you got a decent defog. Yeah, yeah. yeah Rotom Wash is really, 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 really not yeah. like yeah. defogger. Really it not might, it, it might not be a mod, but Mamora is still weak to rocks. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I think it's rock yeah. doesn't resist rock. Yeah, oh, you're right. Is. Yeah, I'm retarded. Yeah. I always forget like the relevant typing resistances, like Amora. Well, I mean, I still have three removal options being Sand Slash. Rotom and Lando, so that's fine. Yeah, Rotom Wash is a really nice defogger. So he's going to get one. He's going to get one slush rush sweep this this season. Exactly. How the, someone the setters of more. I don't know about that. Chief. Yeah, I, I, more I, I, hey, my predict me. my prediction is that it happens week ten. Nah, <laughs> nah it's gonna happen like week seven, just to piss so off tails. <laughs> you know, what, I'm okay. gonna start playing it with it. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that, that's true. Really like, March up cooler. Better get one slush rush sweep, and you better get one trick room sweep. Ooh, okay. that's right. Could you trick room Alexam? Yo, the oh my trick, trick room, room aromatis is lit. Okay. <laughs> trick room aromatis or trick room get that mobile in there with the sheer force life orb. Nah, but yeah, see, we yeah. trick room Alexam for the style points. No, you use the fracture in the trick room. Easy. No, I'm talking about trick room setting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But that fracture better sweep, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That fracture better sweep. <laughs> I bet I better see like some uh, trick room into gravity. <laughs> of course, <laughs> that's running blue. blue. I'm bringing this with we uh, oh, make sure to bring special Lando. Lando. That's very important. We can let her bring gravity Lando with uh with earthquake. And give me a trick room. Oh, uh, also uh, Lando T Mega Pensy is that's pretty nice because Mega Pensy's biggest annoyance are usually electrics. So. 
fast electrics, which are prominent in format. Yeah, they're they're essential to a drafting success. Speaking or, of or fast the, electrics, or the, they, or the, they don't uh, exist on this team. Where's the fast electric, Aaron? Throw it on Yeah, I can go faster, I'm pretty sure. Hey, man. I hit at least a mark that's above Coco's speed, give me my trophy. Hey, but what about the Scarf Coco? Come on. I, I like you know, how Tails is talking about electrics, like fast electrics being cool, and his is a Rotom Frost, so it's like... Ooh! Get <laughs> 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 your ass back down, Tails! <laughs> Tails, you're so toxic. Anyways, What's wrong with those budget Rotoms? Anyways, yeah. yeah it's the fact that yeah, it might cost mine. like 10 points cheaper or something. Yeah, but it's yours. It's yours neutral to rocks. No, it is not. Get your ass back down. And we have a lot of really good scarf options. Yeah, my scarf is. <laughs> I think I'm gonna say the same thing as Nacho's team. I like the top half. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then again, it's certainly well, top but, heavy. I'll give it that. But uh, but uh, inside for uh, the draft. Everyone got 110 points, so Blue made us poor as shit. So yeah. That's bad. Yeah, I, 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 that was like, fun. I, I realized that like right when I was getting to my vile point pick that I only had 110 points. I was like, really? Are you fucking kidding me? I want to yeah. do you want, though. Like, jeez. I want 100. I want 150. I want 200 points. I want 120. I'll give this team an A for Aaron, and also I think uh, just the top half is really insane. I really like that. Fuckers, I'll take it. Yeah, I like the I top half. I thought it was going to be a C. Easy. Yo, if you're giving that an A, I can't wait to see what you can give the next team. Okay, let's oh, go to yeah. the next team. Um, <laughs> oh, it ooh, is I like Python's this. coach of the Hong Kong Drudigans. Oh god, this team he looks has so... Jirachi, Zapdos, Terrakion, Gudra, Ribombi, Mega Altaria, Volcanion, Palosan, Licky Licky, Gorgeist. A plus. What were y'all doing? <laughs> yeah. Now, as someone who yeah, ran 9 good months plus an unmon last season, I can vouch it doesn't work well. You're gonna go 1-9. And you're gonna get hacks out a lot too. Wait, Those what are you calling good. the Unmon? There's 10 good mods uh, here. Gorgeist. No. Gorgeist is no. uh, Gorgeist is awful. Well, and even you pick the Licky Licky. But that's not well, an Unmon. Licky Licky is not bad. Licky Licky is amazing. No, Licky Licky is not Okay, the, but the biggest Gorgeist Unmon is, is like Volcano. No, the most, yeah, the most busted is the Volcano. For sure. Now, Volcano's busted. But, oh, oh yeah, but considering we're that's having that's this argument, I think it's safe to say there are 10 mods. Not exactly. Not that team is perfect. Well, if you're getting hacks out of them, you got only 10. Well, I was the best team on my head, to be honest. Dude, the top yeah, two are so good. Oh, yeah, Rachi's Aptos. I hate Rachi's Aptos. <laughs> Wait, Rachi's Aptos actually is... seems so it's, cancerous. It's the really worst awesome. thing I ever want to deal with. And then, Mecha it's all. He's in my division, yay. Yeah. Awesome. Because you get static and you get flinched by the Rachi. Or set up on yeah. Altaria once you're paralyzed. Or set up on by Tarak. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention you gotta deal and with And there's webs. Also, well, can we mention he has um the SDLA MVP on his team? Uh I just think Mega <laughs> 40 Altaria and, is a amazing. 40 in one Mega Altaria. Mega Alt's insane. Mega Alt's insane. Yeah, dude. But, okay, um Mega Alt plus Jirachi, I really like uh just those two together. I, same, think, I just think that they same. work pretty Agreed. well. Yeah, solid. And then, I like, can't pick a bad thing about this. Same. If you have, like, struggle with fighting types, like, between those two, you have a Terrakion and a Volcanion. And even, like, a Palo Sand, I guess, which, like, it only has 100 special attack, but I guess, like, it's a ground type, so why not? I think... Palo Sand's really underrated. Yeah, that, that's, that one's amazing, because it's just like, both are so nice. I think between like both this and Mages for about for how much money you could have, this is about as good as the drafts get so yeah, far. I really <laughs> yeah. like this team. Yeah, it it, it like it definitely for sure. And um, I know you all were ripping on Gorgas earlier, but a league Gorgas against a team that you might not be um, prepared for with Frisk gives you some really good information on what. It, or gives you can can give you a really good uh, lead uh, information. Yeah, first, yeah for sure. Can I also just add that Gorgas is really four cool. runs in one. 
<laughs> exactly. This is yeah, busted. True. Yeah, Yo, how do you get so much value? Wait, What's he has problem? 13 oh Pokemon? What? That's insane. Man, also, also, no mean. <laughs> Gorgeist and Palisander get nice spin blockers for, for B. Oh, that- wait, that is annoying. His team is also, though, really dark weak. I mean, he's got two fairies. I mean, he's got like, also fairies. He has the switchins, though. He, he's got, like, two switchins- two actual switchins to dark type. He'll space it, or not a switchin. Bro, I think still take- Bobby's cash, hello? After Vox is still taking like, an 80% from a dark type hit, though. Yeah, I see what you mean, though. Like, a Weavile could be pretty annoying. Could be this. very problematic for the team. Dude, and, and the thing is, most dark types would have coverage, whether it's like, steel, poison, ice, etc., to at least handle Mega Altaria. So it's really just track and anything. But most, like, there's other mods in the team that can handle Trachea. I don't know. I'd be more worried about Ghost. Ghost is another thing too. It's like he just gets play. he gets destroyed by Gengar instead of Gudra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mimic you, like that's something. Yo, that, yeah, that's um, a, came that kind of destroys him. Yeah, so his Speed only switch in Ghost would be like Licky Licky, but even then though, like any special Ghost type for the most part has fighting coverage, like Focus Blast, for example, for it. Yeah. Um, regardless of that though, I think this is the best team. I'm giving it an A+. Uh, I know he got sniped a lot, and it wasn't what he expected, but... I mean, this is a pretty damn good team. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, a good team, but it, it's a team that you yeah. sort of... You can look at it and sort of know what has to come. So I, I don't think... I think with the limited amount of mons he has, he made it work well, but it's not as good because purely because of how predictable it's going to be. Yeah, the mons are pretty issue. predictable here. Um, also, yeah, Mammo Swine. You know uh, yeah, Mammo Swine's not fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but again, who <laughs> likes Let's go, Burst Spam. As well. I mean, he's got Terrakion, which is 1 at 8. He's got Trabombi, which is. 124, but I don't really see Robombi as like you know a super fast like revenge killer. You know, I think he's well, gonna struggle. Right. When you have static and like, why do you why do you care? <laughs> yeah, yeah like true. he's gonna pair everything. Yeah, yeah. Zapdos is and, um not fun. <laughs> not at all. Can we move on to my favorite team name ever now? The favorite Same. team name, favorite nicknames, to be honest. Hello. We have Granky, Coach of the Ho Host. He has Mega Mawile, Tornti, Victini, Gliscor, Como O, Drapion, Verizion, Slowking, Raichu, Clefairy, Clam Pearl, and Why Not? Favorite team. <laughs> Great ass. Look at these. I love that he has Mega Mawile. He forgot I mean, Mr. Hoop. He forgot Mr. Hooper. Wait, who's who, hold on, wait, who? Mr. Hooper, he was a he was a regular character until he, until he passed away. Who the fuck is Prairie Don? Is that the thing? Prairie Don's a little pink girl with the blonde hair. Oh, that's <laughs> I have no idea what that <laughs> But anyway, yeah. I think my team's just a little bit top heavy. Like I kinda realized I was running out of points into when I got to like Drapion. There's and some like, sus ish uh, stuff in well, there, like um like what switch is in on Mecha Mobile Victini? Uh, <laughs> Nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's yeah. really hard to deal with. I don't even mm. think any physical wall switches in on that combo. Hello. Hey, you can run Python as the best team. But Volcanian switches in on Mecha Mobile Victini. Uh, no. Bolt Strike. Mm. Uh, Bolt Strike Thunderbolt. <laughs> How much does Mecha Slowbro take from it? Probably. <laughs> like, too that's much. the closest thing. Yeah, not, not a, a happy amount. Yeah. And then yeah. nice removal, rocks. Well, oh, uh, yeah. the removal is okay. I mean, Tornties are really good. Tor 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 really good. Like, yeah, Tornties and Glistro are both amazing. They're yeah. both great removal options, but the issue being is they both have bad four moves last in That That's is true. true. I didn't really want to rely on them, but then, like, it, it just happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, though, outside of the team, your team's really not rock weak, uh, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And that's true. Just, like doesn't appreciate it. If anything, it's just the fact that you're gonna be switching a lot that'll create issues. If anything, it's just a spikes issue that'll be apparent. This team doesn't appreciate Scarf Mammal Swine. Not at all. But no one like, appreciates it. Not To be fair, every team is. I don't really have a fantastic dragon switching as well. Like I know Mega Mawile's there, but I don't really want to switch in on dragons. Because most yeah, dragons so get hurt. Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly, I personally do exactly. like the second fairy with the mobiles normally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. fairies. Uh, um, it's a low. For a, it's for a looks here, mine. Oh, it's I up. For its price. I yeah, swear, tails, tails, you're so tall. Oh my oh, god. Uh, oh, we, we fixed. We fixed. 
My bad. Wow. wow. You're just trying to take his Victini away like that? Crazy. That's no, insane. No. Pursuit trap. Get ready, kid. <laughs> yeah. AJ, if AJ were weapons. here, he'd shame you. Um, I, I think the mammal swine is not as bad of an issue because the clam pearls right here. You know, have I like clam pearl? Ooh? Yeah, but, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you say that, but it's like an actual, like, not actually keep it in anyway. Honestly, sloking could probably do something to help stop the mammal swine. So, sloking was everything, to be fair. It's pretty cool. Sloking's mm. broken. I mean, you only play, you might play one mammal swine anyway, so. Yeah. Maybe two if it's in playoffs. Hey, you also play one Twinkie. That's a problem. Yeah, Twinkie's more busted. I'd be more afraid of that. Oh yeah, my lord. <laughs> like, Twinkie could actually take a band of Yeah, yeah. I was also really sad when I snapped up Gastrodon because I really wanted that TDK call, you know? That that balance team. But, um, yeah. you know, Slurky's not a bad backup, especially since I have a pretty sweet regenerated core, too. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah. I like that at least. It's a solid Ooh, Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. But yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'll give this. I'll, I'll give it maybe a B I like plus. It. Uh, I like it a lot. Maybe not the best think, team, um, because we I just. I think my one thing, if you, if it's around, and I, I have no idea if it is, but maybe try swapping Slow King for Slow Bro. I think otherwise it seems really solid. I just think a Slow Bro would be better because Torrenty already, at, at the very least, would probably take special hits better, and like Slow King is going to be even <laughs> more to take like the rocks type soon ground types, for example, but it has less fizz depth, obviously, and there's more physical offensive types. I'd say otherwise it's my favorite so far, but yeah, yeah I just get slow bro hey. if personally. Otherwise, it's solid. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, I was tossing up between the two, but then I also have Glyscore there as well. Take yeah, uh, the Glyscore. Like I was gonna say, I like that. Yeah. I like Sloking a little better, because it pairs with I mean, the ice moves. I don't really yeah. also want Torn T taking too many hits, because some weeks I want to run out of Pensive as well, yeah? So, like, yeah, Sloking's just sort of like, oh, I don't know, we'll see how the season goes anyway. That's yeah. fair. I mean, it's still a solid team, and personally, it's still my favorite team. Bro. But no, I, I still it will come at the cost of Clamp Pro and why not? So I don't know if that's worth it. <laughs> not worth it. I mean, <laughs> Clamp Pro is uh, kind of busted. I don't know. Yeah, Clamp Pro is yeah. kind of broken. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm going to give this team a B. Plus. I think that, like, um, the last two teams we went over being the better teams in Miners so far, in my opinion. Uh, Like, this one's the one after, so obviously. You might talk down on it a bit, but it's still a really solid team. I like it a lot. I personally like it more than the team before. Who? Mm, I think that's my favorite team yeah, so far. But I, I don't just think I can say that, but yeah. Good. Yeah. Sure, good. Anyways, um... Yeah, let's I go on. Well, I agree with Aaron. Yeah, I think I like this more, actually. If I'm thinking about it. Um, just Maybe one thing. One that... Oh, yeah. go ahead. Go on. Maybe it's just because, like, I dropped it and I can see, like, some flaws and stuff as well. But, um, but yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, no, no, I feel you completely because, like, I think my draft's the worst in the league. But people would tell me <laughs> oh otherwise. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I was saying, I, I thought my team was, like, a bottom bottom half team, but then y'all start talking it up. And so I definitely get the mindset, at least, that you're having. Imagine having Lando T, but a bottom team. That's insane. I mean, yeah, you definitely. That's I mean, I don't know how I did it. I somehow managed. Um, Jesus Christ. So, Torn Hurricane, you know how, like, um, it, it can miss a lot. So, we're going to, uh, speaking of missing, we're going to the Chicago team. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, we have Big Daddy Dave, <laughs> coach of the Chicago Dave. Con Kelders. Double oh. doink. You know? <laughs> You know, he has the Deoxys Speed, Zero Aura, Mega Beedrill, Tapu Fini, Kartana, Piloswine, Silvali, Scrafty, Gigalith, and Turinator. I hate all that. kills, dude. Yeah, I, I want to give him an F. This Piloswine is name wrong. I give him an F for fast. So <laughs> F for fast? <laughs> <laughs> Just look at those speed twos. That's disgusting. Yeah, Jesus <laughs> Christ. What? Why is your third fastest one Zero Aura? <laughs> That's What's insane. No That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you gotta you gotta run Scarf Deox to speed at least once. Not only that, but his team actually hits really dog shit slow too with that giggle. <laughs> yeah, Yo, that's like gotta be the most polarizing like features in the game. And the yeah, speeches aren't even that bad. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Like, there's not that many gaps yeah, between like, speeches to be honest. Like the 143 to 109. The biggest gap is probably like yeah the 143 to 109 and then the 85 to 58. 58. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Like that's not bad. That was a big gap. Yeah, that's that's yeah. definitely doable. 
like what even fits in there that that relevant? Yeah, there's almost nothing that's viable besides like a second electric type, which wouldn't really work in Steam. That really hits between the 109 and 143 mark. And besides, just that, like electric types are like an aerodactyl. So I think that that's not as big of an issue, and he does still have the fast months pressure the in between three tiers, which are already scarce anyway as it is. So I think that honestly, his team was a really solid speaker was for such a polarizing speaker. Yeah, I, yeah. I will just say that this man really does not appreciate ground types. Oh, not at all. Like, oh. there, there's no switching unless you're he's, kindness of Ollie. He's twinkie. Yeah. Twinkie's a switch. Also, twinkie under is under switching. underrated top tier nickname is the Scrafty. By the way, y'all probably won't get it. Yeah, because but... wrestling sucks. WWE. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah, you know, We're not <laughs> wrestling trash. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, we're a different kind of trash. <laughs> that trash is precious. Uh, but it's okay, because... With how much of a... Hmm? Go ahead. With how much of an offensive team this is, that Feeny feels really out of place. I mean, oh. can't burn anything if the terrain's up. Yeah, that, that is a thing. Uh, guess yeah. that's true. And think I don't know, it. like... Oh, go on. Yeah, I don't know, it's just like from experience using Feeny, like the... That just part of the terrain doesn't actually feel like that impressive. Like, so Finny is a pretty solid offensive on. So. And you're not wrong, but if he wanted that type, he could have swapped like a, a Primarina or a Zoomerol in oh, there. Oh, a Primarina would have been annoying with this. I mean, but I, I guess that the option for going Finny is is one, it has that middle speed tier, which otherwise he would have lacked a decent speed tier. Well, and two, Finny also it, has it a does, utility. I say it has a lot of utility like, in the mm -hmm. team as well, so it doesn't right. have to just be offensive. And it is still pretty offensive, to be fair. Uh, I mean, it is his defogger. Yeah, maybe the madness was one of the reasons they drafted him. Well, I don't know, I guess. Guess of all, Karton is an undefogger. Uh, the, his yeah, best special is attacker is Zero Aura, so... Yeah. That, that's yikes. That's that's really yikes. Which again is why it would have been so... I want to see if he can... There. I want to see if he can pull off a, something with Terranator. Either, either wall see, breaking for Beedrill or... Just, or maybe even a sweep. See, Special that's the thing. Go. If, like, teams will have, like, max two ground types, there's a Turtonator set that can be every Pokemon, so it's like, damn. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, so you can't switch in and start those things, though. <laughs> that, that's true, but, <laughs> you know, Turtonator's kind of busted. I don't know about you. Okay, okay. Alright, yeah. minus for me. Have you seen Tanay's bulk? Uh, I, I'm more lean towards the C. I don't know how much I like this draft, honestly. I don't know. C I love it. and hate it. It's scary. It's gonna be AIDS to deal with, plus it's Dave's. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess, like, this is just one of the ones I, I actually do just see a more clear weakness than some of the others. Yeah, I see what, what you mean. It's just, like, straight up, if you, like, have Lando, either one, like, you straight up, there's just no switching immediately off just your first stab. So, that's that's really scary. Um, if you're looking for a ground switching, like, Ebeling's a thing, you know? Chuckleberry? Oh. Yeah. I guess. Have, also, so Volley to adapt. But Volley bug. Yeah, he's gonna be so reliant on the ground resistant ones. I don't know. I mean, for those of you who look up, everyone's adding besides, like, steel and poison. I feel like um, with all the ground resist, he might have been better. Uh, he might not have been able to get it, but I think Bulu would have been the better Tapu for this kind of team. I could see that. Bulu Tana, yikes. Yeah, yeah, you get Bulu Tana. Bulu Tana would have like, you, you don't, you lose out on a lot of support that Finny presents, but <laughs> that'd be insane offense. Yeah. yeah then just simple, just replace like some of your later picks, honestly, and get the support. Like, I don't know how much you really need that Gigalith, to be honest. I don't like the Gigalith at all. Like, sand on this team doesn't sound like a good idea. Yeah, it doesn't accomplish anything. It just breaks your Deoxys Speed Sash. Uh, Mega Beedrill is already fell enough, so we could put something and in range of priority. He he needed a, a second rocker besides Pyle's one. Yeah, he Dude, really he got, needed it, but yeah, he it had to be got, something else. Well, it was probably one of the better things available, because he got it really late, obviously. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I, guess, I mean, to, I guess, I guess to be fair, he doesn't have to run uh, sand for uh, sand stream. Yeah, that's true as well. But then you're missing out. Now the cost type berries out is a pretty good thing for him. If yeah, to go I, I guess I'm sorry that to just roast this draft so much, but I don't care for it that much. <laughs> yeah, fuck <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Damn, rip Dave. <laughs> rip Dave. <laughs> Poor Dave. Dave's a yeah. good guy. He doesn't deserve this kind of thing. Yeah, he's a good guy, but I don't like the draft. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. What <laughs> well. I will say about the Sand, though, is that Sand's always a nice chip for offensive teams. That's, Th you know, that's true. Then, yeah, that always works out. Yeah. Right, Let's hope like he does that. Sand leads way for Mons, like. Uh, Banded Zygarde E speed, or Banded Dragonite E speed, or you, you never know, want to stand on Dragonite, Dragonite though because like you break your multi scale. I, no, I I'm think... talking about like I'm talking about like sand shipping down as mons for other for Pokemon guess, like yeah. that. Yeah, that makes I think sense. Dave will do. F I think Dave will do fine as long as Dave? don't pull a Cody Parky. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> we're giving him a C for Cody Parky, C for Chicago, C for Conkelders. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Nice bully. <laughs> nice bully. I like it. I think he'll do fine. Yeah. He <laughs> Blocked. <Dave's laughs> Blocked and reported the ice, Dave. Oh shit, I just realized Dave was actually in call. Yeah. Sorry, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why do you think I said never mind. Oh, also okay, nice CST. Try. Yeah, that's yeah. like legit why I wasn't holding back. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my god, god. I, I'm, I'm sorry, friends. Okay, let's move on to um the next draft, which will be the Saray Stingers, coached by Electricity, aka Ian, who has the Ash Greninja, Mega Deancey, Magnazone, Needle Queen, Darmanitan, Braviary, Uxy, Beware, Avalug, and Haxorus. This team is broken. First three picks already, can we ban him? <laughs> On top of yeah. that with Anita Queen? Ban, ban Ian. I don't want to play his team. I love the Magnazone with the Diane. This is some offensive amazing shit. Just don't put Magnus him on my schedule, perfect. please, Flamo. He's got, he's you know, got a lot of, uh, he's got a lot of, um, bulky mons that can take those, uh, steel hits that Diancy doesn't want to take. Yeah, I mean this is, I mean this in a really yeah, good way, I, I, but he, he, Thanks for the Diancy for the Magnazone. I, I mean this in a nice way, but, like, he, he drafted, like, better around Mega Diancy than Ash Grin. And it really looks really nice. Yeah, I can find that. Yeah. Even then, though, I like, like Ash Grin more than I think that the right. thing that looks like that though is, for example, Draft Grin Ash Grin is very different from Greninja in like stupid terms. And Ash Grin is is a one that's typically banned in format, obviously. Still works really well with Mega Dancy, of course. Um, it blows through things like offensive ground types that might pressure Mega Dancy. So if anything, I feel like that Mega Dancy being a mod that has been around for a while and easy to draft around because people know what works with it in format. I think it was easier to draft Ash Greninja into that than it would have been to draft into Ash Greninja, if that makes sense. That's fair. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the only thing I could fault him on is like his removal is kind of so far. I mean, like, but yeah, yeah, yeah but it seems not really hazard though. Yeah, he's not that, smart hey, with it's just a Dramatic and Bravery. Yeah. yeah. It's I a couple of ones and DNC will pressure hazards well anyway. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, that's the only thing I, I could really follow him on, because the kiss him offense is amazing. He's just going to pressure teams way too much offensively in general, mm -hmm. to the point where they're not going to be able to get a positive versus him successfully. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not going to bother complaining about walls, because like, there aren't that many on this team. Like, like in, people, yeah, are gonna, people are going to over prep for the top three, and then they're going to get swept by Trick Room Beware. Yeah, I, oh, I think he's lost my favorite team so far. Wait, yo, I want to see a Trick Room have a look. Ooh. Ash. Yo, uh, also, yeah, imagine and then people are just gonna forget about the hacks on the bottom straight up. Oh, that was another. Yeah, that's what I was about like, to say. I was about to say, what is my offensive? Yeah. An offensive fire. I mean, not fire. Uh, fairy dragon steel core. So uh, a nice offensive one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, how the fuck did he get that like round ten? <laughs> uh, yeah. Has he saved his points? Yeah, no one can afford it at that point. No Unlike can. some people, he didn't need a stimulus package at the end. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, this... Some of us got our high point mons Yo. for our high six when they shouldn't have been around. Although, you can talk about more. ground leak teams though. Like, his ground switching is Uzi, which isn't bad, but. And Braviary. You know, Braviary. Yeah, and Braviary. But you know. Those I don't know how often he brings to Braviary though. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna be relying like... on Uzi a lot. There's gonna be a lot of like yes. balloons. He's also got the Magnus double berry effect. Who, who, who's in his uh, who's in his uh, division? I think I am. All I know oh. is is that I don't play him week one because Blue doesn't put the rest of the guy on the dock. 
Yeah. Okay. It's Aaron Grank. It's Aaron Grank and me. Oh, oh wow. Hell. Blue! <laughs> you weren't supposed to put me in the Astro Ninja Division. What the fuck? Hey, it's, Wait, it's, it's your guys' fault blue you let it fall the fifth. Like, come blue, on. Blue did. The bot did. Yeah. Wait, have we done... Have we done the extract yet? Fuck Blue. I call it reroll. <laughs> okay. Redraft to be honest. So, like, up, this division, I think, has, like, legit the strongest drafts. Oh, by far. Oh. By far. Fuck all you guys. I didn't put in the stack division. I'm going 0 10 again. Or 1 9 again. Because, <laughs> yo, like, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. This is actually probably my second favorite team behind Granky. Oh, this is my favorite team by far. I think it has no contest. Maybe uh, a 10 mon like team. I personally think that 10 mon teams do worse in this sort of format, but it, it truly shows what a 10 mon team can actually be capable of. Mm -hmm. I think it's a draft. I. I really like it. I, I'm still feeling Python's team, but this is definitely up there. Yeah, like, I, I do think, like, this Python's in Granky has top three. Oh, yeah, I think it's undeniable. Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't looked at, like, the teams we passed if I wasn't here. I'd give this team an A for Ashgren. Haha, <laughs> got it. Yeah. I give oh, an S here. You give it an A for Avalug. A for Avalug. Oh, yeah, I'll give it an A to, like, give Grank. I give it a, a for anal penetration, a. which is what he's going to do to all his opponents. Yeah, that's what that Beedrill is getting ready to do. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> speaking of Beedrill, uh, have you guys seen the bottom of, I think it was, uh, KMJ's team page? Oh no. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, don't talk about yes, that. Yes, I saw that. I remember because I put the Heyo gift next. Anyways, let's go on to the next team. We have the Miami Volbeats, coached by Ozzy. He has Celestila, Latios, Tentacruel, Jolteon, Crocodile, Talonflame, Seismitoad, Reuniclus, Sylveon, and Rotom Frost. Is he, he the only one? So far. Is he the only one that doesn't have a Mega? The, yeah, he doesn't have a Mega. You're right. Wow. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that's excellent observation, Scrappy Ten. Wow. This, <laughs> this team insane. is fat as fuck. It yeah, is fat. Celly. I like this team. That's Selly Lottie. I don't like it as much as someone, like, I guess our top tier, it's but weird. definitely, like, a solid one for sure. It's, it's like, weird. slightly underwhelming in that, like, nothing super amazing other than yep. Celestila, but it's all solid stuff. I mean, he's got the healing yeah, for sure. Yes. Yeah. I think the part where we're feeling kind of underwhelmed is the fact that he doesn't have, like, a super amazing breaker. Yeah. 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 Breakers are all really bad. His best I mean, breaker was Bandit Crook. Yeah, yeah, it's like Crook Reuniclus, like, if you're gonna pick ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, even even really though, another team. thing is, I don't think that he's benefited from the dual psychics. I think there are very few teams that can really pull it off, and this is certainly not one of them. It's just a knockout weak team, to be yeah. honest. I mean, like, maybe. Sylveon Crook. I really don't I mean, like Latias in general. Crook, so Crook's really like, item dependent, and Sigma is still really dependent on either both of his specs. So, arguably, even if they're not, even though they're resisting knockoff, they're still hurt by it. Yeah, honestly, that Rio Clips might be a really good trade bait later. Like, oh, I, I think if anything, you should trade the Lottie. Well, actually, no, I, I think Rio oh, Clips. No, 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 yeah, you, you need the Lottie for, for your removal. Yeah, so Lottie for one yeah. removal because the team really needs it. But then again, he has Tentacle. But it's more so, I was thinking, because of Healing Wish support for the Celesteela. Mm. Lottie, yeah. a dragon good. with Celesteela, I feel like, is really cool. I mean, yeah, but I was thinking maybe just drop a lot of ass for like some other dragon. But then again, though, as I mentioned, the Healing yeah. support is really nice. So Sylvia doesn't need to be Wish Fodder every week. I, yeah. I feel like yeah. I feel like when he does bring Rotom Frost, it's gonna be delegated as a Scarfer. Oh, for certain. Oh, his speed yeah. gears are pretty pretty lackluster in terms of threatening mons, and that's one of his better. That sadly is one of his better offensive mons. Yeah, it's like he like I mean technically you just like look at the numbers for speed tiers, it looks nice, but but then you yeah. look at what the mods are <laughs> like. Yeah, you like Tentacruel is a base one hundred mod. Ugh. Yeah, then it's just like you have Talon Flame as. The kind of speedy one along with Jolteon. Like, yeah, Jolteon can do some damage, but it's steps. Or, I mean, it's lack of coverage is kind of. Uh, eh. I think Jolteon's fine. I do agree with Talonflame definitely being in your faster mod. I personally think if you're going to draft Talonflame, don't count it as a C tier. Because definitely. you're really relying on it for its scale wings, and then once scale wings goes down, you're either sacking it or you're using it to pivot. Definitely agreed. I feel like he's going to have to wear teams down a lot with his bulk. Yeah, I could see a oh. lot of long games with oh, this yeah. team. Yeah. I also see Toxic Spikes being very important for him. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, that tentacle is going to be, like, like straight up one of his MVPs. It's going to be a win con every week, I feel like, in all honesty. His yeah, like, low, low his key. play is to get rid of the poison type ASAP. Yeah, I don't, I I don't I know if I... I stole a center round three that I wanted. Like, I don't know if I play him or not with, with my team, but, like, looking at my team, low-key, low, low key, this team does not particularly care for Shell Slash Crustle. 
doesn't like offensive fire types either. <laughs> Yeah, I'll find yeah, um, if, if physical I'm fire types or that physical like, fire types. Yeah, Top and it's gonna still one version of this team. He did take Latias for me though, which is extremely unforgivable. Latias, I want I wanted to do Lottie round two and then Bernie for round three if I can get it. Um or actually no round three Latias if I can get it. But sadly, of course, that got taken. Which are shocked, because most leagues these days, people for some reason think Lottie's are like bad mons and don't draft them. Lottie when they should still be on no, the no, 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 I disagree no, about just, Lottie O's. Just people Lottie. love Lottie O's. Yeah, Lottie yeah, O's is loved. Lottie O's. <laughs> yeah, Lottie O's can get forgotten. But Lottie O's. Like, like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. I, I still do. <laughs> You're right, Lottie like, O's. I personally don't draft the Lottie's because I've never been able to successfully use one. The thing is, though, is I feel like they're still like around two or three mons, but lately it seems like they're almost going undrafted regularly, which is astounding because they're still around two or three picks. And that's but, why I think you know, I could probably get Lottie Aster on three parrot with my Infernape plus Lando. At that point, both Lottie's actually still around and they both got taken around two. I mean, it's like understandable, but it just sucks because I really wanted it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think Seismitoad's a pretty cool Pokemon because it does give him another water and another ground, but I feel like. Um, so needed. Dual, also the dual grounds with Celesteel is actually amazing, though. Yeah, but it's Seismitoad yeah, in general. It takes it's wrong. pressure. I will oh, say, like, Vault of Zora Jolteon, that is cool, too. Yeah. He, he should have probably gotten Gastron, to be honest. His team lacks a lot of good recovery. His best recovery is, like, it, well, one, Sylveon's obviously good recovery. But then Lottie, it's, like, yeah. Volt Absorb Jolteon, Recover Latias, Roost Talonflame. And it's, like, those are the mods you want to be recovering on. You want it to be, like, your... Fat mons. That's I mean, Latias is kind of bulky, but like Latias is honestly doesn't need to be an offensive mon. So again, it's like he really has nothing fat that can cover besides Sylveon, and that's it. It's gonna be so kind of wish passing. Oh, I you know what? I actually forgot about Reuniclus because I was thinking he's gonna have to trade it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Reuniclus and Talonflame are, are both trades for right now. I think Seismitoad arguably is super, as that it should have been Gastron, but at the very least, maybe he can get the low tier water type that can recover. I mean, if he yeah, gets rid of that, then he I, lose one rocker. So. If, even, yeah. if not, even if it's not Gastron, I think he's dropped. If he dropped three mons, though, he'd get a second rock. I right, get another rock. Yeah. It's hard to get. Even, yeah, I, I, I think personally, just like Seismitoad's the least of the sin of the three. Oh, for, for certain, by far. I think this is probably, in my opinion, like, I, I like Talonflame this generation. I think it's a tad underrated this generation, because people think it's, like, really bad mod this gen for some reason. But I, I think it works awful on this scene. Yeah. Horrendous. Yeah, I don't know. I, I prefer yeah. teams where it like, just a port of Wallbreaker with Tailwind. Yeah, exactly. Like, Lead off with like I don't know, this seems fixable, though. It, oh, yeah. Exactly. It's just, right now, it's not good. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it, like, a B-, minus, but this team can actually get to, like, B+, plus slash A-, minus yeah, area. I'm giving a C-, minus. Mm. Fair enough, fair enough. I would say CC minus. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'm only giving it like a higher grade because I actually do think it could be fixed. Could be fixed, but as it stands, no. Sure, fair, fair, fair. fair you have a is, like, probably steel, C range. Steel is busted, so like... Yeah, and I'm also like, I guess, like, by a Yeah, fair, any counsel still is fixable. Toxic bike stuff. I, I think Bruce is the worst part, though. He could probably. He could probably get away with running Mega Camera ups on this team. Yes! Ooh, I like that. Wait a minute! But but I like that, that would actually be like the, the second ground type that I think will work really well in this team. Yo! Yo, Ozzy, you better watch this. <laughs> Damn. Why is that? Oh, like, how does that keep him away? Yeah, because like he has the water switch in to support Mega Camera up with yeah, the Crooked Isle, so it's like, oh, yeah. wow. And he has ground switch ins with like Celestial Lottie as well. Like, yeah, yo, and if he keeps the Reuniclus, he has Trick Room for it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Wait, Mega Camera and, and fixes <laughs> this. And, and see, that would be the thing too that would actually make the dual psychic work. Yo, and, and uh, the best thing about that is the, the game rear Tile Flame and Seismitoad for that. Then you have so much points to spend on something else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, at Ozzy, to be honest. Yeah. Anyway, he really needs his mod. Because, like, be getting rid of, like, get. Getting rid of Talonflame doesn't even hurt you because you have Lottie and Celestial as ground immunities. Yeah, then you can get like some sort of physical wall breaker that works in the trick room well. Yeah, or nine yeah, in, in, in general a really points. good mod to so kill points. Yeah, because Talonflame's pretty pricey to be fair. Or not pretty pricey, but it does have a it does cost a bit of points. So like you could probably Talonflame was eight, size was eight. Mega Camp I think was like five or six. Oh, well, well, thirteen well, points to spend. Yeah. That's amazing. You drop the talent flame, you pick up Mega Camera up to like Crabomitable or something. <laughs> oh, never mind, I take that back. Mega Camera was seven, but that still gives him nine, nine points to work. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, 
for like, there are some solid physical breakers in that tier. Like, you can get a Rackwind, for example, um, instead of Seismite. That's a solid backup water. And even though it doesn't get recovery, it does at least give him webs. That's a solid physical breaker, at least. Um, or physical breaker, um, in quotes. If, if we're building a Trick Room team, would webs really be beneficial? I mean, it's more so for the things like the... Like, if he's going on top of my cell sealer, for example. Not everything wants to be... Under what yeah. or under trick room? So. Yeah, yeah, that would he help has with, like, both options, room. which could be really yeah. nice. Exactly. You cannot bring trick room every week. Yeah. Also, it, it helps support a more uh, offensive tails. like Spex Rotom well okay. because Spex Rotom could thrive really well under webs. So I do think that if you drop like size into talent like for a rack when it's on, uh, Mega Camera, that's also really solid water switch in there. So I think that could be really solid. Yeah. Well, yeah. What would we give the team if we did that? What, what if if he did that, I'd give the team a B plus, maybe an A minus. I agree, yeah. Okay, well. I think uh, it's Ozzy, still fine. Make the trades. I yeah. think it's fine. We set you up, Red. I love him as is. Huh? <laughs> it's trash as is. Scrappy's so toxic. Working. Oh my gosh, hyping up all these teams when we're trying to help them. That's insane. Yeah, come on, oh don't lie to the man. That's this is the worst team by far so far. Don't tell him it's okay. good. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know about okay. that. Okay. Fine, let me present. At least I'm on three teams so Why far. Why do I want McDonald's? So <laughs> it, 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 I, there is no denying the bottom three teams so far. So I don't know what Ozzy's playstyle is, but, you know, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, you know? Yeah, um, not many people have seen Ozzy play, so we will have to see, obviously, how he plays. Because, obviously, like, Seismitoad, Talonflame, that he's, could benefit towards his playstyle a lot, so... He is the like, monotype he's, expert, so... He, he's the monotype expert, which is why he's <laughs> type stacking, so, like... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, right. let's move on to the next team, which is... The Kentucky Wild <laughs> Yo, this is a fire name. This is a top daddy. tier. Um, also, the best nickname by far, Tails the Shaman. Okay, oh, <laughs> he has yeah. Lando Eye. Hey, no, no, no. Megazone the better X. nickname is Gar is Maki the Garbuder. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> yeah, so he has Lando Eye, Zardex, Weavile, Metagross, Shaman, Forges, Blastoise, Garboder, Alolan Golem, Rotom. Wait, why is that? Uh, is that Rotom here? Spin? Yeah. Ferroseed and yeah. Polyrath. Name. Self switching. Dude, I think some nicknames are easy. Anyway, okay, yeah. the top three offensive. Top are three brutal. are amazing. <laughs> I Those love the top three. Yeah. I, I think his off his top everything like blaster is above. I think is really amazing. And then like our boater, I think works for this team. But it's not great. Bottom four, I feel like really don't fit this team well. What's I think really I mean, Pharisee yeah. plus our boater. I think it's really excessive. I mean, I think I think Zardax and Weavile plus Spike support from the Garboder is really nice. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I yeah, do like Garboder. I think that's where it's yeah. excessive. I mean, so it could be fair, like, so. like a one or two point bond. Yeah, that is true. It's like right down there. It doesn't I also would not count it. those against anything. I, I swear yeah, so I my bottom three picks. picks. Two points each, and essentially I used them because uh, I felt so good with my core that I was just trying to get some counter picks in there for teams in my division. I mean, I, I guess if it's two points, it's not that. I was thinking it was four points for some reason, because I know there are a few other drafts that is four a points. A four-point Ferris is... That is... Huh? No. No, 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 no. It's no. not a bad mod. Is that... Well, that is, that is important that, you, that you're probably... looking at the division for those low tier mods. I'll yeah. probably... Like, do you have a mod that could... Other than Polyroth, that could set up Brain for it? I'm sorry, what was that? Is there a mod other than Polyrath itself that can set up Brain for a Swift Swim? Blastoise. Blastoise with the. I think Proton uh, can too. Blastoise. Oh, wait. Blastoise with the rain. Blastoise dish with the rain the dish. Polyrath. I think Polyrath yeah. is yeah. high key underrated, though. OB3, OB3, OB3. Um, OB3. Oh, also, That's your fun, fun counter. Also, fuck steel types, am I right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah. Like, look at the look at look at the first two ones. Like, fuck off. Fuck yeah, see, see you later, steals. Oh, the way I was going in. Yeah, exactly. How, how many steel types do you think will be brought for Daddy? <laughs> okay. Is, like, okay. During his entire thing. I, I'll say. Dang, you can't bring Celesteela because the Alolan Gold. Oh wow, this is well thought out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My bet is zero. We see zero steel types for this team. <laughs> 
Also, floor. Uh, I, I love floor. Just maybe if so. your team's really weak to Weavile, I'd consider <coughs> bringing like a Scizor. But other than that, or, I don't or know. maybe actually the only one I could see um, is maybe like... if someone has Napoleon, they bring like a Shuckle Napoleon. That's about that, it. That, that's that fair. drops to Zardex. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> you bring Napoleon, it gets trapped by Golem. That oh, is true. You, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <God. laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh fuck! I can't the foil. I mean, I still bring Steeler. Like, even though you're, you know, at a lowing golem, right? I mean, you still get Earthquake, no? That yeah, is, you that's probably want offensive Steeler yeah. for this. I I'd go with Tautomize, yeah. to be honest. I, I feel like, yeah. But I like it. I really do like it. Yeah. This team. Um. Oh. This looks like a fun team. Yeah. Yo, this division is stacked, what the fuck? The, it's the top mons that are like, create a really strong core, and then he just counterpicked people, like, that's really nice. Yeah, that that is like a very uh, thing. Yo, why the fuck are my top 5 drafts all in the same conference? What the fuck? It's it's just gonna be like the bottom teams are gonna be like, it's the pick of the week. You know, you know which 4 or 5 are gonna come, and then whatever I need to supplement. Right. If I need a bulkier thing, I'll throw a Rotom on. If I really want to spike stack, you know, I got Pharaoh Seed or Garbodor. Yeah. Yeah, they can come mm. to different matchups, which is really nice. And, and realistically, right. honestly, oh. I think you have five mons that could realistically come to every game and you wouldn't be crazy. Yeah. That, that's for top seven, I think I could bring yeah, top, everything. Uh, yeah, top six. Blastoise, Blastoise maybe not to every um, matchup, but do Blastoise can be brought a lot. I could see that. Blastoise yeah. Pretty I mean, Land Lander is high, Megazard X, Weavile, Metagross, and Floridus, I can see being used on ladder. Yeah. If Lando I was allowed. <laughs> if Lando yeah. I was allowed. Rip. <laughs> right, if it was allowed, but you know what I mean. Yeah. But just those top three is an offensive core. That's just, uh, that's just awesome. That's brutal. All I know is Scarf Mammo is my friend. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Until you see that Scarf Weavile. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Bro. <laughs> Scizor says hi, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scizor versus oh. his team. Oh, um, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, wait. Are we starting some beef? Are we starting some beef? <laughs> Dex? Yo, wait, Dex beef? the setup. Someone say beef? Oh, beef? Oh. Jerky? Okay, anyways, I give this team an A. I, I like just... Same. Yeah. I like it. Why did Miners actually draft better than Major? For Because it's right? the better exactly. one, Scrappy, and you're sabotaging it, which I don't appreciate, but like... Crazy. <laughs> Um, so no hey, someday no majors will be happens. better. Someday. Who knows? <laughs> um, the Lando I nickname though, why does this sound familiar? Was there a song called Strange Clouds? Sure is by B.O.B. Right, yeah, okay. I, I personally might like, snatch the weave. <laughs> snatch the weave? <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Anyways. That's snatch weave by once. <laughs> let's go on to the next team, which is the Austin Subats, coached by Ben JF, um, Mio's favorite coach. By far. It's my favorite too, it's broken. Uh, he has Fucking Zygarde crap. 50, Zerka Tree, Heatran, Cresselia, Mega Gyarados, Gligar, Sneasel, Archaeops, Weezing, Barbarical, and Serena. How does he have a Uber? That's not fair. Personally, I actually really like this. Like, like no no meme, because I, I get, you know, at Mio was hyping up everyone and I was hyping up with Mio every round. But I, I do think it's actually a really solid team, personally. Um, I think there are definitely a couple, a couple flaws with it, but I think overall it's a really. It's a really nice team, well rounded. I love the setup potential in Zyra Circuitry. That's really solid wall breakers together. And Gara, and Gara. I was like, oh yeah, Mega Gyarados too. It's like yeah, a lot match. of setup potential, a lot of sweeping. It, it's a really, really solid balance team. And, and I know Ben as a player, Ben loves balance with like a couple setup mons here and there. But I think at the very least, like knowing his playstyle, it suits really well to that. Barbarical too. My man's gonna show how broken this boy is. This thing Barbarical is a solid mon. Great sweeper. Y'all are gonna get blabbed through Ooh, by this yeah, thing. Yeah, no, that mod's going to majors. Also, like, also, boys, are you? He took Cresselia from Ben. Exactly. By the way, by, by the way, a hey, little nine tails. The right Ben got it. Yeah, this is a perfect veil team. It had veil yeah, over like. If, if he could have afforded ben, that, that would have been. Ben really yeah. was on the so I, I knew the second I saw Zyger, despite how well it would have worked, I really wouldn't have drafted it. He he cannot he stand the veil. I mean, and even yeah. like Zerk and Mega Gara, and then even Hell Barbarical. Yeah. Barbarical's busted. 
Because this would have been a really good team for it. I just know that he would have never touched it because he hates fail. Yeah. I've made him hate it. Well, even if you don't use it, you take away a lot of the biggest counters. Because that Alola oh, 9 fails. Like, true. kills Zygarde, kills Mega Gyarados, kills Gligar. Offensive Alola yeah, 9 kills actually puts in some work. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what does Alola 9 kills do to Cresselia, though? Let's be honest. Toxic. <laughs> Although I will say though, what is any? when the draft first started, I really wasn't sure where he was going when he dropped his circuitry, and I'm just like, uh, oh, yeah. It's but you know, looking at the team, you know, in full like this, it's a really well-rounded team. Yeah. So, yeah. That's a good. It, it, it's a little early for it. It, it, it looks it looks weird, but he got Keytran around three, so it's kind of like going to change a lot. insane. Cresselia yeah. was everything. Except like Mega Gara, and he has a Mega Gara. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. I think he dropped really around, well around it. I I knew no matter what I told him, he was gonna get Zerkatry around two anyway. Um, I, I told him not to do it, even though I was memeing at first and said, "Dude, you should totally get around two. because the men fucking love Zerkatry, just like he likes Power Powerful a lot. But he got that at a reasonable point, at least. Um, I mean, but I, I think he still made up for it, at least in picks like Cresselia around four, Feature around three. I think those are both really solid skills. Um, I, I'd give it an A in all honesty. I think he's gonna- I, I think he's yes. a playoff team to be honest. There, there are a few teams- oh, um, yeah, I think there are like three other teams I could say are playoff teams right off the bat. I think this is one of them. One of the four. He's I mean, also, yeah, like, he's also in like the- I guess the- I guess like if we're looking at the drafts, like my top five favorites were in, in Muse already, so... Mm -hmm. This being really good, like we might dominate. That's kind of weird, cause like a course is better, but like huh, I know uh, we won't get into what no, we're, right now, we're not. So. No, you also yeah. flip it in majors, please. Like, can we just flip all those like top ones of course and bottom ones muse? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, so this is this is really the only dominant team I feel like besides like Nato's team in Aquars that are like really good teams. So I think that he's gonna actually be running house to a playoff spot there. What I, in my opinion, a top three team. At least in that conference. I'll give it an yeah. A, A minus around there. A for Austin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> had, had he been in Muse, I, I'd say it's a little bit of a different story, but I'd be shocked if he didn't make well. And A My... for Aquarius. I'd say, exactly. I'd, say the, I'd say the biggest flaw with the team is that his team doesn't really like fighting types outside of Weezing, and Gligar, and Cresselia. And, yeah, I was like, and Cresselia. Cresselia. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and Zygarde, like, Zygarde like, with a, a plus one coil still is chewing through a lot of fighting types, to be honest. And, also, he's not required to Mega Gara right away, so you have to. Yeah, he is. Tails, Tails, have you read the rules? Wait, For real, you know? Tails is so yeah. toxic. It's the first time I can. Wait, is? Yes. Oh, okay, well, well, even then, though, he gets oh my god, god. You're, so so you're, you're such a buffoon. You're such a buffoon. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Tails is actually toxic. Okay, well, well even then, though, you say uh, Gligar, Cresselia, and uh, Weezing are the only fighting switches. Those are bad fighting switches, though. Like, for bomb I, mean, I, I get, I get like, Weezing and Gligar are passive monsters, but Cresselia is not a passive monster. Uh, I, I think there's some uh, well, I don't know about I mean, that. I mean, Cresselia is still a solid offense, offense though. Yeah, you for, have to a pawn. You know what does go hand, though? Make meta jam. I mean, again, Cresselia is there, right there. Yeah, yo, we, yeah, we yeah. That. Cranky, we wait, that. are you forgetting something? What? Uh, Strappy, explain. <laughs> okay, no, next, next team. We're gonna be talking about Mortal and the Pittsburgh Teachers. <laughs> and his team consists of... Hey, Scrappy, that's my it. job, huh? Yeah, you're not, now you're job. taking my job? Oh my god, those <laughs> damn Mexicans, holy crap. Wow, dude. Oh, what? I, I mean, Scrappy, he's from Texas, so it's like... Like, like a Medicham does. Hey, I'm not... Yeah. Scrappy, I can't can believe Tails actually that at me. I cannot believe that. That is bullying. Uh, anyways, Mortal has the Cure in Black, the Mew, Skarmory, Suicune, Entei, Amoongus, Mega Manectric, Gramble, Alolan Dougie, and Primeape. So... Really? 5 out of 17. I'm not a big fan. It's not bad, but I'm, I'm not crazy yeah. about it. Very top yeah, of me, I feel. Mortal I, drafted I his... Shit. Mortal... Oh my god, Tails! Is Mortal in. Uh, he draft. Cool. He seems to draft Suicune. Suicune. I, I think he has like three <laughs> good mons, and everything else just fits really weird. And yeah. Mortal is like Mortal is a Krokoom player over a Venkoom mm -hmm. player. Uh, I think that Suicune, Mew, Kieran Black, really amazing. Skarmory fits really weird on the scene. Everything else I feel like was just weirdly placed in the draft. Yeah, like this is another one of those drafts where I'm just like, where'd the points go? 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, black and you mostly, I feel. No, I like, like, yeah. he bought a lot of like middle tier mons that are like fairly expensive, especially later rounds. Things like Magmanectric um, was really expensive that round. Amoongus for that round was a little bit in the price you compared to how much points he spent earlier on. <laughs> but it's like the points didn't go to threats. He yeah, had exactly. threats being new in Kieran Black. And Shuken's obviously a threatening mod in itself. Um, but not like a threat threat, it's just like a solid wall. But otherwise, nothing on the team that he spent those like 13 or 12 points on is really uh, worth the, the points with this draft, I, at least. Yeah, it's just like exactly very like, heavily. I don't know, if we just like look back at Ben's draft quick, like I feel like yeah. he got like 11 like good mods. Whereas like exactly. this one, I, I, just, like, I, I, see, I feel like seven, and I'm like, what happened, dude? Where'd they go? Yeah, as it's, I see like three were... mods here that work well. Yeah, and I mean, he's, kind of work. he's got like, relying on Kieran Black so he couldn't entail a lot. I, I think Kieran Black, Mew, and, and Suicune personally. I, I think Kieran Black, Mew, Suicune, and Mega Manectric are really good ones that could carry somewhat. So. I, I don't think Mega Manectric is going to be carrying him on this draft. He feels really, really close. I, I think he I, can. I mean, Mega Kieran, Manectric Kieran Black, can, Mega can work with like any player, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah just even Newman did like, like, Newman, Newman, Newman made a semi-finals so off of it. <laughs> I think <laughs> that Mega Manectric, like, Amoongus, and Skarmory like, somewhat fit in this team. Entei, Granbull, Alo, and Duggy, and Primate really do not fit in this team, in my opinion. I mean, Entei breaks the steals for Kim Black, so... I mean, he could have right. probably gotten some other fire to hit than Entei. I feel like it really doesn't work in this team. Entei's fine. It's fine on this team. <laughs> I would have liked so to make a main, but I mean, I'd argue Mega Main. Yeah, yeah, yeah Darn would have been cool. But yeah. Darn would have been cool. Really good. Got a better way to deal with for that. Earthquake, earthquake over Bulldoze. Yeah, yeah that's true. Useful. For like a yeah. train, I guess. Yeah, as I said, like there were better options than Entei, in my opinion, this round, in terms of wasted around seal types. So oh, no, that, the, that's the thing, though. I, I agree that Tails. Where did the points go to the shaft? Cause, yeah, um, it's just like, if I, like, I'll just compare it to Ben's. So, like, legit, it looks like Ben had like 120 points, and like Mortal had 100. Yeah. Like, that man legit stole his points. <laughs> He's stealing. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that, it doesn't help that he got it. Call it doesn't help that, doesn't help that KB and Mew are two of the most expensive mods in the draft. That That's true. Well, yeah, of that's a but big deal. Even then, though, I got him, I got him for an Mega Pencil and Lando T. Those are three really fucking expensive mods, but at least made it work for the point value, though. It seems like Karen, Karen Black knew, speaking to that extent, though, and then everything else just sort of drops off. Like, there were ways to make it work. He just did, in my opinion. It's like he just he just grabs Skarmory for rocks, and then he's like, "Oh, I need a second rocker. I'll grab a Lowland Eggy." Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it just feels like, like an offbeat freestyle rap. Like that's how. I <laughs> <see it. laughs> the big problem I see with it is that Mega Main's a really good special attacker, but outside of that, you either have to fully invest in an offensive Mew to get some secondary pressure from yeah, special that's attack, true. or yeah. or that's actually very problematic. He also he also has a he also has a real big issue. Uh, with, uh, switching into fire types outside of Suicune and Entei. I mean, I yeah. guess he also has Karen Black, too. I, I mean, Suicune switches into every single thing. Yeah, Suicune switches into everything, to be fair. Suicune, in my opinion, Suicune can truly be one of those mods, especially for its value. It's one of the only mods under, like, 15 points I could take a truly, like, win a game on its own. It's a great, uh, it's, it's a just, great It's such pick. a good mod. Um, but, yeah, and that's why I said, like, Suicune, personally, it, it, in my opinion, it's, it's undervalued. I think it's Truly, the only thing under 15 points that could truly 6-0 a team on its own. But, um, but I think, though, that besides you can be Kieran Black, the team is pretty bad. If, if Suiku never dies early in a game, he's just in such a disadvantage. Yo, let's try and yeah. do, do this man a favor like we did Ozzy. How do we fix the team? <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> um, I think I he wanted, can. I think he wanted think... Darm, but it was sniped from him that round, so... I think a big deal that could help it. him... Is a much better ground type. Yes, I agree. With with a Skarm and a Suicune, a Lolan yeah. he's not going to cut it as a ground type. Not at all. Yeah, I would much rather take the weakest like, fire type like and, and like Bucket is, Crop. Like a music, a Moongus is basically his ground type. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, then you're just getting bolt switched like on, and then right. you're going to get wall broken. Or like I guess right. Mega Mega Manectric. Which like um the Mega Manectric, I can see why it's a bad pick, but for the team he had, I don't think it's too terrible considering think, he didn't yeah. have a mon over 100 speed for one uh two it gives him an electric and three before megas it gives him an electric immunity so yeah i really don't mind the mega mini i think it's the one I, if, I think if he had to go for mega it'd be 
the DS3 didn't make it to go with it. Yeah. It's one of the saving graces of the team. Yeah. At this yeah. point yeah. in the draft, he didn't have much. Way. Yeah, he has decent ways to handle ground tap as well. Like, Yerim B is always great. Uh, Suikun can sort of set up on them and stuff like that and force them out. Um, and is that it? Maybe Mew? M Mew uh, takes anything, to be fair. M Mew's yeah. a busted mon. Insane. Yeah. Not top five, though. Don't at me. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. You're right. Uh, top the, one. Biggest, the biggest thing for Mortal with Mega Bane is going to be figuring out which HP to run every week. Yeah. I mean, you have a Karen Black and a Suicune to help with the grounds. And an Amoose. Yeah, that's, so a, that's, that's a big deal. Nice. Alright. Offensively, that is. So, I'm going to give this team a... I'll give it a C+. Plus. I was like, I think a C plus is generous for this team. I think a yeah. C, a solid oh. C. Yeah, this okay. is similar to the uh, Aussie uh, team for me, to be honest. Like, as the dental, but right now it's one of the worst teams. I don't think it's that like, bad, but it's not. I, yeah. the, the, it, I, I, I think the Aussie team is worse. I'll, I'll give did, C plus. He didn't budget well at all, but. Yeah, not at all. None of us did, to be fair. Yeah, I'll say budget. No, no, I, think, I think comparative to everyone else, he didn't budget. I know. Well, I don't think he had very much it. experience with points drafts either, so that's probably why. Yeah, he, he probably that's went through fair. the first four picks and was like, "Wait, this isn't a free draft." <laughs> yeah, <probably>. <laughs> <laughs> or this isn't a GBA draft. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where's my knife in the dealt round one? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like legit waiting, like until he got the miniature. He's like, "Wait, am I getting a noggin deal?" <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Where's my knocking it down? <laughs> oh shit, now I need to. Alright. Alright. Yeah. So, are we gonna do predictions like yeah. the last one? Let's was? just go to the division standings. So, here we have the beautiful predictions that I showed at the beginning. Um, let's let's just get straight to it. Who do you think wins the bigger division and why? Oh, that's actually so hard. I think that is. Yeah, the, the I like this lot. team. One second, I, I gotta reopen the dock. Ooh, I'm I, I'm, I might have to just look at matches. I got money on Daddy, though. I'm gonna say Daddy. Um, so, the Barry division? Yeah, yeah. Barry. Um, so, so as much as I, as I don't ask, I kind of ask about it myself. <laughs> otherwise, why am, I, why am I actually here? But I, I don't believe it, but I kind of have to at least try. That's fair. Yeah. I and think... Yeah, I, think I'm, yeah. I, I want to make playoffs, but it, this is a really stacked division. Like, I knew from the start. It's, it's like... like Twinkie from last so season, I feel like. Yeah. Literally yeah. anyone can take this division. Like, goddamn. Ooh. Yeah, I could see that. Just based on the drafts and how all power... Like, <laughs> this is literally four of the top five drafts in, right in <laughs> here. And like, and at least one of them is not making it to playoffs. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a that's thing. That's really sad. I think I'm going to go for like a Dark Horse pick. I, like, if I'm just going purely based on drafts and matchups, I think Ian's got this. I'd love to say it's Ian. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I like, like I, I think, yeah, I think Daddy's a better player, but I think Ian's draft, if like he can execute it properly, draft, yeah. like that, I think that team would win the division. If I'm if I'm thinking about matchups, that's fair. I think this will be the division. It, like, um, cause four make it to out of the conference only like a minimum of one per division. I think this division will have three in the playoffs. Yeah. Yes. I Dude, Ashburn fucks I, my team. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh shit, yeah. Uh, I, I really like, I really like Ian's team in this. So yeah, I, I'll say Ian slash Danny, to be honest. Like, I remember last season, Python started 6-2, and two, was like top of the league and everything, and still missed the playoffs. It just shows that, like, uh, divisions are, <laughs> how divisions can be stupid sometimes. Yes, they can. Yes, they can, Blue. What are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Money literally shouted at me. He's like, no divisions this season. I don't want it. <laughs> no L5 Blue strappy division. Yeah, that, okay, that was bullshit. <laughs> that was actually bullshit. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the Perry division. So, assuming three make it from Barry, who do you think wins Perry? Pythons. 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, um, all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, as, just, as much as I want to root for myself, Python. Fuck it. I'm rooting. I'm rooting for Epics. If Epics can get five kills with a Chansey in one game, and they're all kinds of Chansey, mind you, I, I think Epics can pull through. I'll root for Mercury yeah, just because you know. yeah. right. I'm I'm picking Pythons to win this and win the league, so Scrappy, <laughs> Scrappy, Scrappy. Ooh. You just come here, shit on miners. You, you pick Pythons, how much dick do you suck? Holy shit. Wow. Oh, so a whole shit ton. A whole shit ton. Also, Blue, look at him in the chat. 
<laughs> Looking where? PC chat. Oh. You, you didn't remind me that daddy left. Jeez. So toxic. Oh my goodness. Yo, daddy, I, I meet you. <laughs> yeah, okay. so daddy, we picked, um... Uh, a lot of people think your favorite for Barry. Um, yeah, although it could be a toss-up, there's uh -huh. probably going to be three teams in the playoffs. And then Perry. Dude, that division is broken. It is broken. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I think it's you or Ian personally, just draft-wise. That's fair to say. Like, um, I, I like Ranky's team, but I don't think it matches up that well. Yeah. Like against you two. I didn't really take into account you know other matchups like. Yeah, de yeah, yeah definitely. Like, I think Granky can win against the field, but he'll probably end up being, like, third seed, just purely because I'm not positive if he, if he can be Daddy or Ian's drafts. I'm still rusty as as well. <laughs> yeah, Granky's like, rusty. Yeah. So, in the, in the Perry division, even if I don't make it, where do you all think that I'll end up? Like, at probably third or second? I gotta say third. Uh, what Epic game are you getting? It all third. depends on how Epic's Epic... Is... Epic's is so... Yeah. I, he's so... Epic's I don't know. Epic's is good, but he's the meme, -er. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm. epics could even Fair. win the division. Would um would inconsistent be the word? Yeah. Yes. Um, I I wouldn't even no. say that. I wouldn't say that. He I would just say gives up too easily. If or he's yeah. a very streaky player. As in, like if he starts zero and two, that's the season. He he's done. He's done trying. But if he starts like two and zero, then he'll just keep on like putting together. He'll dumpster everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, like you are so advantaged that you face him late season. Like, and he's not dominant. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think the safe yeah. pick is Pythons, though. Um, yeah. Just based on, like, yeah, he yeah. missed playoffs last season um, <laughs> due to, like, bullshit divisions. But we don't <laughs> talk about that. <laughs> um, hey, he's we don't back talk for about the last season. Divisions. I don't, I, I've, I've never ne heard I've of that never, before. I never want to talk about last season again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Scrappy right. wants to either. Okay, anyways, let's move on to the Arcos Conference. In the Twinkie division, who do you think wins it? The Twinkie like, division is honestly like really bad. I like no. Ooh, I, I think, I'm gonna be honest, I think I, Twinkie division is the easiest division, and, and I truly do, do mean that. I, I think that Joey has the biggest, by far, best chance of winning his division. I, I think it's almost no contest. Ooh. I think the I, opposite, I think, I think, I think I bad, talent I, wise, this division's the toughest. That's just my opinion, though. I, I think coach-wise, it's you could say that, but draft-wise, yeah, yeah draft-wise, no. Are but like, and draft is only is. part of it. For who is Ooh. drafting? I feel like the drafts are underwhelming besides Joey's. I think Ben is not like draft. I, I, I like techno. I, like I think, techno I think, think that Joey is the only well, good in this division. Like, techno has like, really good draft. I must think no, Techno, I ability to but turn if the game Ozzy around. adapts his draft early, I think Ozzy can do it. I don't think Ozzy can win this. He Ozzy. doesn't adapt to drafts. I don't think he wins the division. No, I think. I if think. Ozzy can fix his draft, because in... Oh, okay, not to be, like, mean to every anyone or anything. I think he's the best, like, battler in minors, if that makes sense. He's not good at team building, per se. He's not that good at drafting. But if you take that, because like he's been playing it for like five years now, so like, like he started with monotype and such. Yeah, yeah, I, was, I, yeah, I have legitimate faith in the dude. I, I think he, I think he can actually pull it out if he fixes his draft. <sighs> I think, I think Techno's a safe one because he always pulls shit out of his ass. And he's yeah, a good player. Techno's a good player. Yeah, I think. Why I think the Acquers, the Acquers conference will have two and two from each division. I, could, I agree. I could there's see not, that. Mm. I don't think there's gonna be one con one division having three in there, like in the Muse Conference. I yeah, I could see that. Just because Twinkie, like none of them are dominant enough within the conference for them to have three from there. Yeah, I agree. I think that in Twinkie, it's it's definitely Techno and Joey, and in Shitty, it's definitely Nacho and Ben. I think it's almost, I think it's almost guaranteed. I, I really think you're underestimating what Ozzy can do if he fixes his team, though. No, no, no. Ozzy, Ozzy's not winning. I, I truly could not see Ozzy making playoffs even with his actions. That's just me. Okay. Compared, to the, compared to those four teams, I don't see a way. Prove them wrong, Ozzy. Prove yeah. them wrong. Yeah, I got faith in you, Prove me wrong. Bro, give him the full nine inches. He was a proud member of the Blue Jays, so I think he'll be... <laughs> Shut the hell up! <laughs> Okay, let's go on to Shitty. Um, the most aptly named division. <laughs> <laughs> They're all shit. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah, I, I think Ben wins, not just second. 
You sleeping on I Dave? Save a shot. I'm a pig, I'm Dave. I, I shit on Dave, dude. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, Dave. I, 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 Dave. I, 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 uh, I, I don't love Dave's roster, but I, I think he pulls it out and gets it. I, I think I can't sleep on Dave the player, honestly. Like, yeah, exactly. Dave the player is one thing. Dave the drafter. Oh, I think. Dear God, is I Dave think a lot. I'm, I'm just going to put this out here. I think a lot of people. I think a lot of people are underestimating the actual players. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think it's someone's season, guys. Because, uh. Because, <laughs> like, the player, ultimately. Yeah, True Dave is a good battler, but fuck, I hate his draft. Yeah. I, I agree. I think all the players that yeah. expected to draft really well drafted really, really yeah, like, underwhelming for them. Like, I, I'd say, as Aaron feels about the way. Like, as Aaron feels about Ozzy, I feel the same way about Dave. Yeah, I, I feel the same way about Dave, too, to be honest. But I really don't mind Dave's. Like, it's got good offense, and like, even though you can sort of, you can't even abuse the speed in like Trick Room and stuff like that because his his speed tier is kind of works like that. He has a Gigalith. Oh my lord! Gigalith is power. Yeah, he has a lot of power on his team. Yeah. In the draft, he predicted I the Trick Room. I'm still picking yeah. Dave to win it. <laughs> I, win I, I just can't. I, I'm picking Ben for sure. Yeah, Ben's got a good shot. I, I like the Ben pick. Yeah, his his draft's really nice, which is what. But you know, right. the only person we haven't mentioned, it, it, it's his season. It's I don't know, season. but it's not. It's not. His uh, season. You know, it's, we'll it's kill the meme. Yeah, this is not Klinga season. Oh, great, okay. this is it not will never Klinga be Klinga. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe if we <laughs> say it's not Klinga season, he'll un he'll like. Klinga's getting relegated out of minor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is not it's reverse season. Sense. I can oh, confirm that, that much. much. Not clear this season. Oh, okay, so who do you think was win it all? Playing a dab on the haters. Good wrong. <laughs> Ooh, I still think Python. I agree heavily. Hmm. He just he got so cheated last. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's coming. He's coming blood. Yeah, personally talking to people, Python's is out for blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. I, I honestly think that Pythons could very well make playoffs, to be honest. Pythons will I definitely think... make playoffs, I feel. I, I, think think that's, I, think that's, I think that's the easiest lock. Python, I, I yeah, truly no, think that anyone, in, that anyone in Twinkie... Pythons is in Twinkie, right? He's the... He's the... Drink, uh, no, the no. Melbourne Magnet Belt? He's, no. he's in Perry. Yeah, he's in Perry. Oh, he's in Perry. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, that's even more free. Okay. I think yeah. I think my big three know. would be Pythons, Daddy, and Tech, though. I, I'm actually, scrub SMH. I'm yeah, it's a good no, no, scrub. I'm actually, I definitely think uh, Python makes playoffs. I'm not sure if he wins because his matchup versus Weepal is not amazing. And I think he's still that's a major opening for a certain someone here. Oh, and oh, I'm oh, predicting oh, Daddy to win. Me. No, 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 I'm predicting Daddy to win this all. Oh, wow. I think so so talking about the leader retails? For, I mean, okay, I think it's safe I'm, to say that I think Pythons locks up the number know. one seed in Muse. Reason being, although he might not be the favorite to win it, the other, like, four teams in Barry will all beat up on each other comes week 8 through 10, uh -huh. which means they yeah. won't have as good records. So I just think he's the number one seed. I, yeah. no, I, I can see yeah. that. I, I no. truly think that he's yeah. wheelchair haze. Uh, I, I think that I think that if Epics doesn't actually try it, that he's wheelchairing his entire Parry division. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I have nothing against Python's making yeah. playoffs. We're just unsure about some of the matchups for Spare. That's that's yeah. fair. Yeah. To say. yeah. I just have to say that my my yeah. only goal for this season is to not get six would I, I truly that's think that, that this is gonna be three Barry, one Perry. I think that Twinkie Shitty could very well be two and two though. Yeah, I I, I see that. But I I don't see more than just one coach and Perry making it into playoffs unless unless Epic's actually tries. Unless Epic tries. Well, um, but I, I don't. Could... Think, the thing is, I don't think he's gonna. Which is the one thing. I don't know. He might win a title with wait, that, wait. With that wait. team. Okay, who's Epic's week one? Oh, well, that's a good question. Uh, it's a mocky, it's a he has mocky, it's a mocky. okay. He's Ben <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ben Ben's going hard. Okay, uh, GG. Okay, Epic's the season's over. <laughs> Epic's- Wait, well, this is week two. Uh, can uh, anyone- You didn't put it on the schedule, Blue! <laughs> Blue, you have to- you if have you to tell The mods know! Two. The mods should know! They okay, know well, how I feel. Oh my god. Wait, Shin, let me go find that. Misholding information. Yikes. So toxic. 
Wait, I'm gonna go find so what I'm it. hearing is, is, is that Epic is a preppers week two ahead of me getting to prep for my week two. So toxic. You're clearly giving him an advantage this season. I don't approve. Not my GS. Not my GSA. <laughs> Scrappy, shut the fuck up. You get the advantage too. Yeah, Scrappy, shut up. Shut the fuck up. up. Wait, we're in majors though. We know our full schedule. <laughs> oh, wow. Even more entitled pieces of shit. Yeah, can we get full schedule, please? Like, yeah, can we get full schedule already? Basically, Just give me Epic Zemons no Zemons already and call it a day. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, okay, mathematically, let's figure this out. Okay. Hmm. We can... Okay, he has to play another person from Shitty. So, in in worst case, he gets, like, Dave, we'll say. And then, he's getting someone from Twinkie. And, frankly, I think he might be okay for people in Twinkie. So, I'll give him one, two, out of the first three weeks. I don't know. Right. Round one close. Alright. So this is a two hour video. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, huh? it's only been this is a quality. <laughs> it's... This is one of those things that you watch while you're going up to your car after your back high top. Luckily, I have that on oh, Saturday, so you watch all the fun. Yo, true. I actually need that for like. Uh, Saturday, straight up. So, so everyone who watches this video, the time just to save you time, uh, there are timestamps in the bottom. No, this is who who says I'm doing timestamps like, for this, huh? This is two yeah. fucking hours. I'm not <laughs> yeah. going through this. <laughs> just, yeah, no, just give him the, yeah, no, just give him the TLDR. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, just no, scroll through the video, happens. find your team page. Uh, you can hear us talk about you for 10 minutes instead of rather than three minutes which was majors so like yeah and oh not, not, not only that though but you also uh if you donate ten dollars to blues paypal you can get uh all the bloopers that were cut out because blues definitely editing us <laughs> what do you know he's we'll no, find he's, that out after okay, you pay dollars. so okay so if you want to see the dog which is probably easier than uh, listening to us analyze these because we're a bunch of noobs uh you can join the server Yes. Did, <laughs> that's public. Did you just yeah. okay? Yeah, just DM Perfect okay. Blue. Yikes. Yep. And DM Perfect. No, Blue. that's not how you get an invite to the server. Um, I just prove oh, your cancer. I, yeah, your exactly. Post. Yeah. Um, recommend the anti. <laughs> all right. So. All right. That'll be it. Um, thank you to all who joined. Uh, I'll. Probably link them down below. Maybe not. Um, What's up, bitches? At oh, least link me down below. I'm relevant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, good luck finding a link for me. Yeah, I'm expecting subs from this player. Uh, Tails, did I you see the same. description from uh, the media? Yeah, he <laughs> actually linked you. Yeah, I linked Wait, you. <laughs> Wait, I just got linked. What the fuck? Yeah. Wait, I got plugged? <laughs> yeah. Techno did. No. Anyways, Techno um, did. that's all from uh, here. Uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, Maybe you regret it, but that's okay. You definitely uh, regret it. it. Okay. Yeah. Wait, shit, I, oh, get I regret a lot of life choices. Alright, and uh, that'll be it. Uh, 